Detroit State of Mind is on the air. Bringing you the sounds of Detroit's underground, straight to your ear holes. Rock, punk, and metal. If it's Detroit, you'll hear it here. Unless you're a dick. Your overlords, Rich and Dave. Say, swear, go down with the ship. But you show freedom and joy. Detroit State of Mind is on the air. Woo woo! Yeah. What's up, fellas? Guess what number you guys are? Guess. Uh, Just guess. Is it Big B? <laughs> I heard we're uh, maybe number 67, 68, no. something like that. No. Uh-huh. Nope. Try again. Two for dinner, baby. Eh, yeah. Yeah. 69. 69. You oh, got yeah. it right. Oh, yeah. You got to drop a ministry fucking drop there. 69. Oh, yeah. 69, 69, 69. Good move. Yeah. So we got torn away in the fucking house. What's up, hey, yo. What the hey, fuck, y'all? What up, bitches? They Go around sh- the table, man. Tell us your name and what you do in the band. Well, how about the fact that they, showed up, they showed up an hour late? Yeah, but they came from... Flint. We came from Flint. And we brought beer, man. I think that's better than showing up on time empty-handed. Hey, we're gonna mail you, you know some what? Stickers. You win this round. You are forgiven, sir. You are forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to get into the hearts of drunks because I mean, you guys are all my people now. Oh, oh, so now we're drunks. Oh, I. See. I mean, this is my first beer, and y'all have had like at least a six pack. So. Why are you profiling me, dude? You don't know my pronouns. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you don't know my, my pronoun. My strife. Yours she look like fee fi fo fum <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, but that's good, right? I, you know, I'll drink that. That's funny. <laughs> I'm stealing that. My pronouns are fee fi fo fuck you. <laughs> anyway. fee fi fo eat a dick. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's go around the table and uh, let's meet Torn Away, shall we? Let's shell. Let's I'm go Kevin. Left to r- I'm the drummer. <laughs> Extraordinary. Wait, did you say Cameron or Kevin? I'm Kevin. Oh, okay. I said, I'm the drummer. Der. Der. <laughs> uh, my name is Joe, and I play bass and occasionally do backup vocals. And I am Cameron. I'm the front man. I play guitar. I play the vocals. I play with them as hard as you I can. You play the vocals. Yes. I play the vocals. <laughs> he plays the vocals. I mean, he plays a pretty mean skin flute, the meat whistle, whatever Slob- you want to say, man. Slobber blues but on I, the skin I learned, flute. I learned the best shit from Joe. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? You know, you do what you love. I mirror that excellent. Well, it's always easier to learn when you use somebody else's hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I just sit on mine until it falls asleep. It's a lot easier. Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be one of those types of interviews. It's All called right. The Stranger. No, nothing's <laughs> off. So you have navi- obviously never watched one of our interviews before, have you? <laughs> a lot of the live stuff, the performances and stuff, but not the interviews. Not the interviews. Uh, well, you fucked up, son. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got no one to blame but myself it's at this point. It's about to get real <laughs> shitty. Yay. No, we're, then... we're from Flint. You can't scare me. Right. Oh, hold my beer. Watch this shit. <laughs> oh, he's, he's now he's, he's, he's going to oh. take his pants off. <laughs> I dare you. Wow. I, it's I'm just going to have one heads. ball hanging out the whole time. Just one nut laying on the chair. <laughs> I thought I smelled Just look cabbage. at it. Oh. <laughs> I just shaved half a ball. <laughs> Why do I want a Reuben, though? <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> so gross. So, so uh, back to the music questions. How long has Torn Away uh, been a band? The people want to know. Do they? They do. Well, well I want to know. He is. is a Believe it or not, there's ten he's hardcores that watch the people this shit. right a, now. I yeah, we are the people. We the people. Uh, Torn Away has been together in various formats. Probably what five years, Kevin. Yeah, it's been about that. Uh, Kevin started the band with a couple of knuckleheads that uh, couldn't hang. Um, Pussies. There was there. I mean, there was some personality <laughs> conflicts. Some people that couldn't help hold their alcohol. You know, and excessive drug abuse. Excessive drug abuse. Um, oh, we know people like that. It yeah. was really messed up. Yeah. Oh, meth, eh? Yeah. He doesn't huh. have the teeth to show it, though. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very very. I, I call him this shark. fucking guy, man. Mm-hmm. I call him shark teeth. <laughs> we call it, we call it the corn tooth. Because yeah. you use, the, use it just that. Yeah, one Give kernel at a time. Yeah. Nink, 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 nink. <laughs> Um, That's gotta take a long time. Go through like a whole cob. The fucker will last you though. <laughs> he just puts it in his back pocket. <laughs> pulls it out for a snack. Every now and then, pops a couple. Just take it out when you want to nibble. <laughs> Interestingly enough, though, when he ate corn, though, he didn't do it like this. Nibble he went it. in this way and then oh, pulled it out. Oh that yeah, way. the whole one row. row at a time. The whole row. Yeah. <laughs> like, a, like a fucking snake eating a rat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I've been in the band for what three something years now. Three and change. 
we uh, we were a band with uh, the two guitarists. I just started as a vocalist, and Kevin was like, as I walked in, started jerking me off. This guy can play guitar. I can feel it. So that's what I started Again, doing. Again, we are not editing this that's, whatsoever. That's fine. Okay. That's actually the cleaned up version. I'm, I'm just letting you know. Enough. Should I like... <laughs> That's actually yeah. the thing. I can't <laughs> like, you play guitar? We're in, baby. <laughs> but no, um, I was just vocalist for a while. We built the structure, some songs. We released an album on Spotify, et cetera, et cetera. But we ended up losing the two guitarists from when I started. One was just a personality conflict, and the other one was a drunken piece of garbage that I don't want to name. They're both the same name, though. So, and then We like one guy, one guy we don't ever care to see again. Just the one guy that we like. We just Is it, it John? Steve, Bob, Steve, Rick, no, no, Dave, no, Rich, no, Jason, no, Willie, no, OG Mudbone, no. close, Jerome, <laughs> it rhymes, <laughs> does it really? <laughs> no, we, we, uh, you know him too, yeah, <laughs> Patrice, I think so. he's my neighbor now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we uh, we ended up rebranding. Uh, about a year and a half ago because we started writing different styles of music. Like, it's fuck it, we're all going to grow beards. And then you're the only one that did. Yeah, well, I mean, Actually, this morning, I, I had a beard bigger than his, about like that, shaved it this morning. Why? Because I'm a chef in a restaurant, and it just and when it starts getting hot, it gets too fucking hot in the kitchen. Can't you like wear like the little net thing like the people nice, wear nice. on like their wear, heads or something? Oh, like the that. beer nets? Yeah, you can wear those, but yeah, fuck that, it's dude. Like those things are like wearing a fucking diaper on your face, dude. Fuck that shit. He just said it was too warm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Why would yeah. I want to add I got, another layer? I got really hot. Well, not only that, but then you, know, you got open flames. I don't want to see that shit go up and you know, pull a Michael Jackson. Oh, I, I do. That I'd be love to see that, that shit. That would be, <laughs> well, be funny for everybody else, but I don't think I'd enjoy it that much. Uh, well, pe- I mean, people gotta, on fire is one of the greatest things. Yeah, in the you got to take one for the team every uh, once in a while, man. I've got the cuts and burns to prove that. I've I put my time in. Okay, we'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> well, when we rebranded, yeah, making toast is a motherfucker. We rebranded and French we did fries, a bunch nuts. of different like reveals with our art. We actually put a video on YouTube of a time lapse of one of our T-shirt designs. For I Walk Among Them, we went to um, a place called, what the fuck was it, Soundscape Studios. They were doing something to help like kids that were learning how to mix and stuff. And we came in and recorded something for free for them to do mixing and do a project with it. That's cool. So, yeah, that's really cool. That was really cool. It was a cool experience to be in an actual studio because, you know, our first album we recorded in Floodwater, which is what we call his basement. <laughs> for good reason. Yeah. It, Does she back up a little on you? Just a little. So that four foot, it ain't much. <laughs> no, not, not even. Like I, I can swim over there. <laughs> He's got you know, a pool over enough, his though, basement. The basement water is still safer than the drinking water. Oh, Flint in the house, into his <laughs> eh? <laughs> but there's still more metal in the basement, though. So only when you guys are down there. Too. What? What? <laughs> You're welcome. Episode 69. Yeah, steal that shit. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna plug our YouTube. It's uh, torn away official. Just so you know, torn, Already subscribed. Come on now, get you some. Official. Make sure you guys sub to uh, Detroit State of Mind too. Just so you know. oh, I love this guy already. Yeah. But yeah, we got some stuff on there. You we are got... getting a Christmas fucking card this year. Oh yes. We will get to all the plugs later on. Yes. <laughs> we haven't even got through the introductions yet. Well, there's no introduction. No, th- th- there is. You you are not the only member of this fucking band, sir. They, they already said. They already introduced yeah. themselves. I want to know why his head is bald. The IPAs are kicking in. Yeah, I'm a little buzzed. No. It's, I, I shave my head because if I didn't, I have the bozo haircut going on. It just grows around the side. Oh, I get to sweep. So I'm always the guy that asks the hard questions. How'd you go blind? Uh, I was in the army. He's blind. You're blind. Yeah. He said he was legally blind. Legally yeah. blind. Really? Yeah. I did not catch that. This motherfucker is the Stevie Wonder of heavy metal. Well, when he come through the room, I'm like, oh, this guy's got a buzz, man. But he was just feeling his way. He goes, I yeah, can't I see. Yeah, I couldn't see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I literally did not catch that. Earlier. I apologize. I, I yeah, did. coming in from outside when it's all bright out and stuff, and then somewhere dark like this, I can't. see. So a real quick so. contrast. Fucking really? Yeah. It up, eh? yeah. So like, like if you're down here for a minute, like does I'm down here kind for of a, a minute. I can so I can everything adjusts, or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Nobody like, knows like that he's gonna lock us down here. Uh, we go to <laughs> we go to concerts and stuff a lot together and stuff like that. And they they'll always take off and leave me. <laughs> and then they're like, "What well, is like a where's joke?" Kev- no, where's, always, where's Kevin? There's at? Beer Probably where we in. left him. I hang between you and Joe to make sure you get where you need to go. <laughs> if I gotta go get a beer, I gotta go get a beer, dude. I just I don't know what. But I'm short, so you can't see me. They in the usually crowd. come back and get me though. So we haven't left you behind yet. I, I mean, I don't right. think that's gonna be an issue. Yeah, I'm still here, so. <laughs> So what happened? Something blow up in your face or? Uh, 
Kinda. I was in a ammunition dump explosion, like my whole unit. And uh, when I got home, uh, I started getting really sick, and nobody really cared. So it that's just got, fucked up. It got worse and worse and worse and worse until the government has to take care of me now instead of the military, like they should have. So, so is it just your vision then that they, you have issues well, with? Thank or? you for your service, anyway. Yeah, brother. absolutely, man. Yeah, 100%. No problem. No problem. Uh, yeah, um, I've got other health issues too, but you know, it's the vision that's the thing that really stops me. The most. yeah, it sucks. Yeah, have you guys ever had a chance to watch being a musician? Uh, I'm. I call myself Earl. Because every time they take a picture of me, my eyes are always closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that show. <laughs> well, even when he's uh, playing drums, if you ever get a chance to watch him play drums, he's doing this. He's not looking. His eyes are closed. And he, I managed he's to having keep the, my eyes open today, though. I tell you what, fucking time, though. I tell you what, though. Most seasoned musicians, they don't look at their shit anyway. They just know where it's at, which I understand why you had a problem today now. Because like, right. you're playing off. Probably you're playing more, off muscle memory. Yeah, or, yeah. or like feel or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my, he, he's not my, that much of a diva, actually. My drum kit goes together like a puzzle, so right. it, it like everything fits where it fits. It only takes me, you know, fifteen minutes to set the whole thing up. Yeah. Okay, because it all fits together. So. Not even fifteen. Dude. Yeah, it's it's so quick. Our breakdown. Takes so less so this explains the whole debacle with the drum kit earlier, like like trying yes. to figure everything out. He wasn't yes. being a dick. He was no, like, no, no. I wasn't <laughs> thinking that at all. I mean, no, uh, not at all. Like, like people can be particular, whatever. Yeah. No, he ain't. He ain't it's a all diva. good. He's the most go with the flow person you'll meet. Kevin is the fucking sweetest person you ever meet in life. Just the most chilled. Kevin, you want to do something? Yeah, sure. What the fuck? You want to <laughs> fucking much. go somewhere? Yeah, why not? Hey, I guess. You, you want to do something like you? No, He's wait, just wait, having wait, to be wait, here. Wait, 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 wait. Why, why are you taking my pants off, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing that. So, so, so you are the, you are the, out of out of this outfit right now. You are the original uh, member. Yeah. Did you start the band? Oh, gee, Kev, get you. Yep. It was all me. Okay. Um. I had been in bands before and stuff, you know. Anything we that we may know or? Uh, probably not. I was in a variety band for ten years. And like variety? What do you mean, like? We played everything from country. To it was like cover, a cover blues. band or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we did a lot of originals too, but we played all over the state. We weren't, you know, just sticking to certain areas. We played everywhere. Yeah. So we, you know, we. Kitty You'd hardly ever see us the same place twice. Right on. You know, so. And he can't show the picture, but he's actually got a, a picture of the crowd when he opened for Foreigner and shit, too. Really? Sick. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Nice. A lot of people. Fuck yeah, it's 15, cool. 15,000. That was pretty fun. Shut up. Yeah. Were you terrified? No, not at all. They they kept holding me back. He can't even see him, so who cares? Because I kept trying to <laughs> I kept trying to jump off the stage. They kept pulling me back. <laughs> Did you? I'm stage diving at a foreign concert. I'm yelling at people and stuff. <laughs> You're gonna kill a bunch of old people. <laughs> Do you remember that blast. time we played in front of a room full of blur? <laughs> Sorry, it's a shitty joke. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that that would help with stage fright. I think. Yeah. Don't you? I don't get I stage so. fright though. Do I you don't guys, either. you know what? No. Also, stage fright, not being a fucking pussy. I don't. I don't get it. Some guys do. It's like and, stop doubting. Some yourself. guys, it's like uh, part of their process too. I get like stage fright like five minutes before I'm on stage, but like once you're actually up on stage, it's all right. This is what we do. You know, My, is it actually the night before? We're gonna suck. Is it, it actually fucking, excitement or is you think it actually is like like nervousness? Or, it might or be a, co- a combination of things. It's, it's just a lot of like like nervous energy and. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I think you're right. Ready man. to go. You yeah. The bottom I mean? line, like, right? A little bit of that too. The yeah. The bottom yeah, line is you gotta it. you gotta think about it. These motherfuckers paid to see me. I can do whatever I want. You know what I mean? You you can you gotta not focus on your fuck up so much. They paid to see you. They want the show. They don't care how it sounds as much. Like today, know? I never heard any of your songs before. Well, the one with the video with the pill bottles. Oh yeah, I watched that one. That, that was an old one. Yeah. Yeah. That but uh, be. I never heard you. I don't hear the fuck ups. You know, you the musicians in the band do, exactly. but most of the time, the people in the crowd don't even know you fucked yeah. up. No, yeah, especially a live scenario. Nobody's gonna be the fucking wiser. No, they're dude. just watching yeah. the performance. Yeah, That's what the and I think the worst is. shows are when it's you and four other bands. Nobody shows up, and you're playing in front of fucking a room full of musicians. Yeah, you know, because then and that that makes me a little nervous. Yeah, and the, yeah, yeah. A bartender or two. Yeah. You yeah. know. That. Bartender. The, but the girl with the nice boobs just fucking knew I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> 
She can read it on my face. <laughs> now my left butthole ain't going to work. Yeah. <laughs> the right one's only at 50% capacity. Yeah, it's only, that's for loading and unloading only. Yeah. Is that a zap a fucking week. reference? Yeah. <laughs> the white zone is for loading and unloading only. I plan my trip to Mexico next week so I can empty that out. So do you think right, the water one, is better one, in Mexico or, or Flint? Uh, Flint? Yeah. Probably you Mexico, to be honest. By, by far. <laughs> that shit can get filtered a little I bit I would better. definitely drink the water in Mexico so before I drink So what is wrong with the Flint's water in Flint? Is it all the lead in the houses or is it the... It's the pipes. They yeah, never, the, the infrastructure of everything, they just weren't spending the money on it. They well, fucking Schneider fucked it up, right? It's not even just that. It's like every one of the politicians around there was pocketing the money. You could see it. Like it was in like transcripts of shit. So they were pocketing the money that was supposed to go towards the roads, towards the fucking pipes, all that shit. I know Flint roads are fucked. Oh, dude. oh Jesus Christ! That's yeah, but, so Sh- bad. but Schneider did do something where the city or the water was coming from what the city of Detroit. Yeah, or, they were, right. They like were getting the water from Detroit, and they right. decided to switch over to the Flint River water. Correct. And it was all the chemicals they were treating it with. I think it uh, messed up the pipes. Yeah, corroded the pipes. Right. And oh, that's what fuck. caused it to leach. The lead. I know the roads are bad there too. Like there somebody fucking, prescribed an Accutane. You know the cool thing with uh, the Flint <laughs> right. roads is like if you're driving down a road and you hit a pothole, you can you get to the point you're like, oh fuck, that's going to be seventy five bucks yeah. right there. That's right. It, it, that sounded expensive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that, and there's roads. You know, it's like oh, coming up after this block, I got to fucking veer to the left because there's a crater in the middle of the fucking road. Are they know? really that bad there? If you, oh okay. Jesus! It's so bad. if you see a person driving straight in Michigan, it's in like Flint, going into Hamtramck. You know how bad the fucking roads are if you don't take the expressway there. Yeah, they're like that. If you see the them whole driving city. straight, they're oh, drunk. God. A sober person's going to be swerving. The drunk people are driving <laughs> straight. You know what Just I'm saying? plowing through it like, yay. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. It's, it's my mom's so car. Good. She ain't going to care. I've hit potholes that are <laughs> bigger than like my trunk before. It's fucking awful. That's called a sinkhole. Almost, yeah. <laughs> there there actually were a couple out in uh, Swartz Creek area. Which most cars hard. have aluminum rims now, so it's even worse on mm-hmm. them. So, so within a city, is there a lot, like a lot of people just like just moving the fuck out of there, just like leaving the place? Or how are they gonna do that? They're poor as fuck. Well, I, I they don't got know. These like four thousand dollar water bills that they're supposed to pay, even though they're not using the fucking water. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. that, they're really, just, they're billing people. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's fucking bad. Can you even like shower with the water? Like, you, like is that even safer? You technically can, but it's like it's hit or miss. Right. And they have like a boil water advisory, but that still doesn't help. It doesn't take less. Why the fuck is still nobody... to this day? Yes. Why? It's why just, is they don't talk about it on the, on the news anymore? But yeah, no. it's still a thing. People still there line a, up at the schools and stuff. There's a Netflix or... documentary and everything about it. And there's people like I watch YouTubers that mention us all the time, and they're in like Texas, Virginia, California. Yeah. It's like they know what's going on, but why the fuck is nobody helping this fucking city, man? Or because I mean, it's it's this. not the sexy thing anymore now, where everyone's pissed off about. Uh, that chicken right. got gang banged by the other cops and, you know, the beer can, the Bud Light cans. They're mad at Trump's haircut. Yeah. It's always just, you know, it's not the end thing right now. But there's a lot of people still really, still really suffering. Yeah, it's fucked up. That's why I, I'm- I, I actually am more angry about Trump's haircut, to be honest with you, than <laughs> Flint water. There's hell to pay for sure. The fucking haircut's hell ugly. He, would just, he should just shave it off. That's what I said. Go bald, dude. War's over. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, start working out. He'd be all buff. <laughs> I, th- I think a lot of the power comes from the the, the hair, though. Honestly, it's the comb over. I mean that. Yeah, like where fucking, much of the power comes like from. Sam, There's no strength in a comb over, <laughs> dude. In three years, when Who's I'm balding, the guy that fought I'm the lions skull and he cut his hair off and lost all his power. Like I'm Samson. Skull it. Yeah, yeah. You say skull it. Yeah. <laughs> I said what, in two years when I'm bald, I'm fucking rocking a skull. Oh, I had a buddy like that. I hadn't seen him in a long time, and we were, we were gonna go fishing. He's got a ball hat on. He's got long hair and shit. I'm like, fucking that. Check it out, man. You pull the hat off. Like, pull the, the hat off. It was fucking shining, dude. <laughs> I'm like, dude, the war is over, bro. <laughs> Shave it off, man. Your forehead lost. You remember the uh, the old bass that's player? That's not a forehead. That's a nine head. The old bass player had that. Oh, yeah. And then he fucking cut his He shaved his head. He fucking I, looks better. How long did I rag on him? Six months, dude. Come on. Just, just shave your head, man. Don't he look looks great. so much better. He shaved his head, dude. I'm like, dude, you look like a badass now. Go yeah. Get a tan on that motherfucker. You're good to go. <laughs> oh, shaving the head is the best until you get yeah. a fucking sunburn on top of your head, which yeah, is the fucking worst. You gotta get worst. blistered once, and then you're good. Dude, I have a Jeep, man, and w- within the last three days, I'm like fucking... Yeah, you're pretty toasted. Yeah. <laughs> I went fishing the other day, man. Back of my neck's pretty fried. The top of the head sucks, and the top of the ears getting sunburned there is the fucking worst. Yeah. Peeling, like, flaking shit off. And... Is there any good fishing in Flint? Fishing for dead bodies. I mean, you could fish. Ah, they, they pull some shit out of the Flint River on occasion. Yeah, they do. There's yeah. probably still murder weapons there and everything. 
Oh, it'd be a good spot to magnet fish, wouldn't it? So that, dude, that's what he wanted to get into. You say magnet it's, fish? It's fun as fuck, dude. Yeah, you do it. I bought all the stuff and everything. Nobody wants to go with me. I fuck, mean, I'll I drive do. to Flint and go with you, dude. I'll give you my number. Come I ain't shitting you. For real. Come on up. For real. <laughs> there's a lot of good rivers up in there, man. Well, I bet yeah. there's a little bunch of crazy there's shit dumped in there. There's all kinds of places. Yeah. But yeah, there's fishing up there. Just Too many people eat. that have steel fillings. You probably pulled some skulls out of them motherfuckers, man. I wouldn't <laughs> doubt it. Would you, keep, would, you, would you keep a human skull if you found one? Oh, yeah. I think I would. Yeah. I might actually. Like I have a buddy. I will not say his name, but they were on a job, and they were redoing a, a medical school, and they had thrown away all their what skeletons like their cadavers and, stuff. and shit. Yeah, and he fished some fucking human skulls out of the fucking garbage. He's got them. They're in a box in his closet. No. I make it into. A I've bug. been begging him for ten years. I Please I might, let me have one. I might make a bong out of one, dude. I'd make a cereal bowl out of it. Call me Ed Okay, D. so that's a little fucked up. <laughs> I'm kidding. Dude. A little extra flavor on those Hello, fucking Mr. Rice Krispies. <laughs> right? Hello, Mr. Keen. Uh, I, I just text Jay about doing the Marshall covers for the... What do you say? I'll be home at 5 tomorrow. Stop by. We'll plan it out. I'm in. Yeah. So my buddy... How much could it cost? Like really, like 100 bucks? My son's stepdad. No. I ain't going to give out Jay's All secrets, right, but it, it'll be cheap. Tits. But... uh. We'll make Marshall stack covers to go over the washer and dryer. But he, he's he got a laser cutter, and he can do the That'd the Marshall cool. font. Nice. But how about <laughs> Willie, Willie and Thompson on the fucking on the cabs? It'd look cool, right? That's cool shit. Be yeah, really and then cool. Detroit on the heads. I want neck bones on mine. Do you? Yeah, I do. All right. <laughs> now, if you could have, okay, if you could have a stage name, say you're in a fucking weirdo band, and you could have a stage name, what would it be? My personal one would be Buster Hyman. <laughs> so when we were on the way here, uh, I saw a sign. Uh, it was a billboard for somebody that said Joe Lunghammer. <laughs> I've never heard that name before, but I'm like, I fucking love that. My name is Joe. That's either a wrestler or a porn star name. Right. So I'm going to adopt that. There's going to be two Joe Lunghammers. Was it Longhammer or Lunghammer? Lunghammer. <laughs> Lunghammer. Oh, genius. The hammer's so long, it hits the lung. Yeah. He freaking had to be like like a freaking attorney or some shit. Like, yeah. have you been hit by a bus? Yeah. <laughs> Call me. Have you been hit Joe by a Joe Lunghammer. <laughs> you ever been fucked so hard your lung collapsed? <laughs> they call me. The I will l- do the fucking. You <laughs> will not a, get fucked. That's a Tuesday. The, I, I am the lung hammer. Yeah, every Wednesday. Come on now. <laughs> do, you, do you have one? You I'm pretty fucking it? boring, to be honest. We have stage names that we call each other. Like, I'm Link. Like what? Wait, uh, you're, wait you're what? I'm Link. Link, yes, you know, like the missing link, and that's what he no, calls me. Zelda. <laughs> it's it's a mixture of Zelda and the missing link because th- we started doing more stuff when I joined the band. Remember the missing link in WWF? Remember yes. Him? Well, that's going way back there, man. That's way back. Yeah, that's digging way back. Yeah, that yeah. was great shit. Yeah. Anyway, what about you? What's your uh, stage name? Uh, the Are splitter. You? The splitter. <laughs> <laughs> the great white bitch. Splitter. The great white bitch splitter. <laughs> Hey, come on now. I'm, I'm, I'm falling in love with you guys. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> what about you? I, I'm, I'm coming at you with my two-inch <laughs> bitch splitter. <laughs> two-inch bitch splitter. But, you know, if you do it like 50 times, that's like 100. So, I mean, that's that's what counts. That's I right. thought you were talking okay. about a knife for a second. So, She's math. Like, She's math. like, give me 12 and yep. make it hurt. So, I fucked her twice and punched her in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gave her a strawberry cream pie. I got you. <laughs> What's a strawberry cream pie? I don't want to on her face and punch her. <laughs> Oh. Have you ever heard of a Cosby sweater? Oh yeah, you know, I a have one, not. A fruit a what? Yeah. yeah, and then you shit on her chest. <laughs> <laughs> You've never heard that? How about a Hitler? It's when you're banging her from behind, right before you come, you dig your finger in your butthole and you wipe it under her nose. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a, like a uh, Nancy Sanchez. I think same thing. Kind of. All right, you guys, I got one. You guys ever heard of the Alaskan pipeline? No. <laughs> uh, that's when you use a frozen turd as a sex toy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not for everybody, but some people I think they probably really oh, like yeah, it. I'm sure there's an OnlyFans for it. There's there's a niche for everything on the internet, you know. You just gotta look hard enough. <laughs> oh, so on this episode, we have torn away from Flint, Michigan. <laughs> Told you water was fucked up. Listen to them. Yeah. They're about to dox us. Though. They're gonna be like, "All right, Flint, we're gonna take Michigan, a quick break." The song's called Insurrection. Round. Ready to his crown. Can I 
and we're back. <laughs> we're here with uh, Torn Away. Oh, so Dude, I really, I really did enjoy you guys' set. Yeah, yeah. Thank was you. tight, man. All the fuck ups aside. <laughs> we're just kidding. Well, they just become a sludge at that point. Just so. kidding. I'm gonna call you Link. Power slop. I think that's what I'm gonna call you. I Power slop with an edge. <laughs> I, t- I tell you what, man. I understand why you have so many symbols because you're all over the fucking place. And that that one splash. That, Dude, that China was dude, fucking gorgeous. Dude, fucking awesome, dude. The one song where you kept... But it works so good in the song. Right. Because it went... I don't know how to explain it. Like, the music's here, and then that crash comes over top of everything. Yeah. Right. right. He's a very musical and, drummer. Yeah, and it kept with awesome. this wash going over the top. It was beautiful, man. He's using Me symbols. And like fucking badass. He's using symbols as, like, another drum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, yeah, it's an yeah, expression. It's, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking wild, man. Kev, never, Kevin's never, not the guy that's just going to crash in and out of a fucking section. I mean, he's using them all the time. And so no, there's I, more, there's more that. that go on your kit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I use the that's whole. That's mind boggling. Yeah, I use the whole kit. Like, he's got a second it's... snare that he uses. and Yeah. like A the, second oh, snare? A smaller one, yeah. yeah. Shut up. Side snare. It one of these days, right we got we got to put together snare. a Detroit State of Mind show somewhere. We have to do this. We, we tried this at New Dodge. No, no, no. We have to put a show together. We picked the bands. You know what I mean? Why are we not doing this now? Why uh, haven't we done this? I think this? it's time. We're pushing it on. This is 69. We'll play it. Yeah. We're yeah. always down there. We'll man. invite you. I gotta we guess. DTF, bro. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> DTF? Yeah. Down to frown? Down to frown? So, uh, so uh, let's go around the table and uh, tell us your, like, your, your musical influences and like like what, what got you started uh, playing music. Uh. You're not first. Do it up, Kevin. How about you, Kevin? Yeah. So uh, I'm like really old and stuff. How old are you? And too old. <laughs> Define too old. Uh, I'm older than everybody else. Put it that way. Are, are you older than me? Probably. How old are you? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? I'm I'm 52. I'm 51, dude. He's yeah. 53. Yeah, come on, man! Right on. He's the most. I thought you said you were 50. fifty-three earlier. Oh Jesus, he got real mad about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, man, uh, dude, I grew up listening to like seventies funk and stuff like that because of my mom. Cool. And uh, as time went on, I started falling in love with Kiss. Because of the makeup thing, you know, like everybody else did around that same time. You're my age, you know. Yeah. Uh, dude, dude, Kiss to me as a kid, they were kind of terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially Gene Simmons scared the hell out of me, yeah. but I loved him to death. Well, back oh, in that day, there was so uh, danger much. to rock and roll, you know. Uh, and come to find out, Kiss uh, or Gene Simmons is an asshole. So right. there, there's a reason to be afraid of him. Right. No, uh, Kiss, he'll probably sue you for saying that. You know? Kiss meets the Please Phantom. Please do. <laughs> Fuck I, him. I actually have a VHS tape of that somewhere floating I around. I tried this house. to watch it recently. It's terrible. And it was the worst piece of crap I've ever seen in my life. It's but not I was, even their voices, is it? I it's was all, so, no. I was so scared when I was a kid and just fascinated at the same time. Yeah. I was just like what the hell is this that was like what 79 ish yeah like 78 79 yeah. around there yeah yeah and it just everybody was just enamored with it and they wanted the kiss dolls and everything else oh yeah I, I had to kiss playing cards and all that shit you had to have everything you know and then yep. uh times changed all of a sudden in the 80s hit and all of a sudden this rap music came out and i was just like well what the hell is this you know i'm I'm liking these beats and stuff, you know, and I was already playing the drums. So you're act, you're actually a, a a rap fan then, or uh, old school? Okay, you know the old public run, fucking enemy, public enemy, Run DMC, all the old school stuff. Yeah, you know, uh, EPMD. Killer shit. Oh, I mean, yeah. um, I like them just, guys actually. Uh, Eric B and Rakim, you know, all that stuff. I that's what I listened to back then. Same, and. Dude, Man. my first tattoo, Public Enemy, right here. <laughs> next, oh, yeah. next thing you know, I hear this loud screeching guitars, and these drums are just going and going and going. And and who was that? <laughs> all of a sudden, you hear, Surgeon! You know, and you're like, yeah, seek and destroy. You know, and it's like, Metallica, who's this? You know? Right. And... By that time, it was over, you know. I just, 
I was Metallica fever from there on out. My first Metallica experience was at uh, the the pickle tournament in Elginac. You know that ride that the fucking the pol- the polar whatever. Fuckers. <clears throat> Something was jamming through the fucking speakers, and I'm like, "What the fuck is this?" It was kill them all. Right. Like, what is this? And I asked my buddy Abe, dude, what is this, man? He goes, "It's fucking Metallica. You ain't heard them yet?" I'm like, "No, dude. It's like 1986, probably." I was fucking immediately hooked, man. Right. Immediately. Mm-hmm. And then right after that, they played fucking Hello Eights from Slayer. I'm like, <laughs> oh, psh. this shit was like heroin to me, dude. Back to back bangers. Yeah, it just uh, things turned around after that. I quit. <clears throat> I quit listening to so much rap, you know, and just it was time. <laughs> the coolest okay. thing, though, it was about, time to stick to metal. The coolest thing about that, though, is he incorporates like rap type beats in with the metal that we write. Why that's, not? Yeah, that's why we. That's I don't know. He's everyone. He probably different. doesn't even realize he's fucking doing it. No, he doesn't. The music the isn't good unless you melt everything DNA, in, man. Dude, you got to so melt all your influences in. Yeah, that's, that's why we got the rhythm and the groove. That's that's what we love about our project is because it, it does groove sometimes just so fucking good. Well, see, when I put it all together, I was trying to go for kind of a. Uh, like a coc or down or somebody like that you know like the sludgy you know just metal you know and that's rich isn't a big fan of that but that's what i wanted you know maybe down i like down i like down i'm a bit down's got a little punkish to it i'm a fucking big phil anselmo fan man right on that's how we're not allowed to say that anymore he's been canceled i don't (laughs) care i still like him he's still a cunt though Pepper Keenan's the shit, too, though. Dude, it's I hung out with un- Phil Anselmo. He's bad as fuck, dude. He's in the, one of the nicest guys I've ever met in my life. That's just one of those right. things, though. It's like it's five people telling you the worst things that this guy ever did. You know, and they just have a lot right of to do it. You know, it's me and my ex wife met him at fucking the Ritz in Roseville with Exodus and Suicidal Tendencies. And he was. Oh, cool that would have been the shit fuck, dude. for a show, man. Dude. I, I was, love suicide. That was back when I was, I was young. There. And I was the mosh pit. I was there. Rich was there. Hell yeah. I thought, you looked, I thought you looked familiar. We are playing pinball in the back with, with Phil. He was cool as fuck, man. He goes, you guys want to burn one? I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so cowboy some hell from you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the coolest thing he says, hey, man, if we come back around, man, you come and see us? I'm like, fuck, yeah, dude. I was blown away. Yeah. They were okay. incredible. But back to Down and COC. COC is one of my favorite bands of all time. Yeah, me too. Pepper's one of my heroes, for me sure. Too. Yeah, uh, I actually saw them one time with Metallica and... James Hetfield came out and played a song with him. I don't even remember what song it was. I, I bet was it was a uh, Man or Ash because I know on uh, the one album they he he does backing vocals on. That. on is it Man? Yeah, or I think it's Man or Ash. Might yeah. have been that. Might have been what song it was. But I was so fucked up. I just remember James coming out. <laughs> so so the fact that Metallica was a big influence on you back then. Have you heard their new album? It just came out like a day or two ago. Uh, the only thing I've really listened to is Lux Eterna. What and do you think? That's just because I got tricked into it <laughs> so they stole the fucking the weird a thing from tool Is that yeah what they did? yeah, yeah i've seen that i'm like yeah i listened to the full record yesterday it's way too overproduced man Is it, it? It, it's not like down and dirty like metallica should be yeah they need to come here and record james yeah, if you're it, listening yeah exactly <laughs> do you know who uh produced it at this point? two mics in the fucking room what? Who? Is it like a Bob Rock thing still or is it i mean no, I i'm assuming the last so. one was um, he's been recording with them him forever I, I don't know. Didn't Rick yeah. Rubin do a Metallica album? Or Rick Rubin, yeah. I think he did a Death Magnet. No. I don't know. I know Bob Rock's been with him forever. Yeah. But I've, they I have no like clue. They call him like the fifth member or some shit. Yeah. All right, let's Fuck, move on. Unfortunately, at this point, they made more bad albums than good albums, so. They they could have stopped it with uh, Injustice for All. Just my opinion. Yep. Yeah, that's where I stopped. Yep. Have you ever heard the version? There's a bunch of kids that are like 18, 19 years old, and they redid Injustice for All. With really heavy bass. And it's way better than Metallica's version. Yeah. I'm just saying, these kids fucking knock it out of the park, man. I love seeing shit like that. Just like those passion projects. I mean, just. I'm surprised Lars didn't try to sue him. He probably couldn't because it was better. Well, he knows there's no money in that, you know. (laughs) You got to take those $4 and uh, fucking YouTube views, you know. Yeah. So what's your influence? Take his Napster money. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Well, I grew up in the early 80s. Um. Grew up listening to a lot of my uh, parents' like classic rock, like Boston, uh, Van Halen, Black Sabbath, Aerosmith. Sabbath's Pink- the best band ever walked the planet. Dude, fucking, I worship Sabbath. Um, Geezer Butler can do no wrong. Um, you know who's better? Max Sabbath. Oh, with all the McDonald songs? <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Um, Pink Floyd was a huge influence for me. Still love them. Um, 
in the 80s, you know, you kind of grew up listening to a lot of like hair bands and shit. That was what was popular. And then you kind of the, the grunge thing was pretty cool for a minute. Favorite um, hair band. Go. Uh, Def. Doc is probably top five. Def Leppard was definitely number one for me for a long time. I love their their harmonies and stuff. Um, That's tragic. We played the, what was it? What, I like them. What bar like was that we played? We were the next band after Dokken. Remember when he come out and said, fucking Detroit and fucking stupid bands? He bitched all about. We didn't play with them. No, we played after them. Remember? And the first thing he said, uh, uh, we're Bang Shifter and fuck Don Dokken. Remember? I, I don't remember that. Not the, was, <laughs> it, was it the token? We were not on the same gig as them. Mm. Are you saying like, oh. Uh, we played like a couple uh, nights after them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I did say that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he come out and he was bitching about the opening bands. He was mad because. He's basically. a fucking asshole. Fuck yeah. him, dude. But anyway. I do, but I do like Dokken. I think they've got some really high points. They're, I think their good songs are really good, but they got a lot of shit, too. Play so. Breaking the Chains again. <laughs> <laughs> In my dreams. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> um, then, you know, once I got a little bit older, I discovered weed. I uh, really fell in love with, like, doom metal, um, Electric Wizard, fucking uh, Cathedral, all that sort of oh, shit. Oh, Cathedral, dude. The you know. way fucking underlooked band. Oh, dude, I we were even talking about that on the way here today. You know, I was talking the about ethereal, how great Lee Dorian is, and he's like, "Oh, fuck, I hate this song." I'm like, "I, I like what? it." You know, you can. The Ethereal Mirror is a perfect album. Oh, dude, and then um, when that last album, they, what the, was that last album? Grim they, the, the, um, Tower of Silence. Just fucking that, that, that album was fire. great. So I have no horse in this fucking race. I have no idea what you guys are even fucking talking about. Well, you know, right Lee now. Dorian started in Napalm Death. Napalm Death, yep. Yes. It's one of my favorite bands of all Which time. also had uh, Bill Steer from Carcass, which is so, another yep. huge influence. Bill, and um, Bill's a bad Justin actor. Broderick from Godflesh, yep. which I really enjoy. Yep. And Kevin Bacon. Well, well I mean, Kevin Bacon's <laughs> done done everything along with uh, Chuck Norris. So Jeff Walker from <laughs> Carcass was also in Napalm Death. He did all their logos, too. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yep. yep. Yeah. Carcass. I, I love Carcass so much, though. So. Oh, Exhumed to Consume is one so of So not only do you come here and play, you actually learn something. Oh, that this is a win all the way around for us. You are we're hitting Del Taco after this, so that's, <laughs> that's all yeah, we was that you asking for. about the Del Taco? Yes. <laughs> we we do not I've come to Detroit learned. if there's no Del Taco. Yeah, we didn't all come I've here learned. for the show. We came here for <laughs> Del Taco. First of all, that's <laughs> how I sold it to these guys. <laughs> Del Taco is fucking garbage. Well, it, it may be garbage, but, but it's you delicious know, delicious garbage. We don't have one in Flint, you know, so we're stuck on Taco Bell. So it's just it's exotic to us. There's you know? actually like three Mexican places right down the street from here that are way better. Yeah, but my sure. wallet says that Del Taco is better. Dude, these nice. places are cheap, dude. This guy's got They're a Del Taco fuck. T-shirt. We're trying to get the Del Taco endorsement. Okay, Del Taco, if you're watching, fucking call us, please, please. or us, or us. Detroit State of Mind. Let's get them uh, sponsored too. That'd be nice. I will. I I ate Del Taco one time. I shit my fucking brains out. I want to hear Del Taco sponsors Detroit State of Mind. Brought to you by. Away. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I love it. And Voodoo <laughs> Ranger beer. Yeah, it, dude, that's some good. Free Floyd's shit. zombie dust. Fucking excellent. <laughs> Call us. It's excrement. What about you, man? What's your fucking? <laughs> uh, so, are you getting disgusted by us? You got the frown going dude, there, dude. The only thing I've eaten today was like a piece of pizza at nine o'clock in the morning. So I'm about to pass the fuck. Well, there's out. a mirror in there. You can go look in there and get fed up. I. <laughs> and the funny part is there's no fucking mirror in there <laughs> come on that's funny bro I, I seen a spoon on the back of the toilet though should i use that as that's the chop poop dude <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's, the, that's the waffle stomper bro <laughs> no um i grew up late 90s early thousands but i grew up poor and had all of my cousin's hand-me-downs i also had an 80s thrash Dude, I, I feel you, brother. I wore all my cousin's hand-me-downs. Yeah, man. exactly. And like watching their old videotapes and stuff. That's how I got entertainment. I was but. in the 80s with plaid bell bottoms, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my stepdad was super into 80s stuff. That That's where like my thrash roots come from. Uh, Iron Maiden, stuff like that. Um, my mom was into newer stuff, but she was still into the older stuff. Like Her two favorite bands are Megadeth and Tool, which are like opposite spectrum. But, you know, Is your mom hot? Because I want to meet her. Uh, I can't say that's fucking weird for me to answer. So, <laughs> but, um, you know, if people are pretty. It don't matter. I uh, I kind of leaned more towards what my stepdad was into because he was a musician too, and my lullabies were literally his band practice underneath my head, and I'd fall asleep to that shit almost every night. One of my favorite things to say about growing up: um, Maiden, uh, Megadeth, early Metallica, um, 
nuclear assault, metal oh, church, mm. like all that kind of Sodom. stuff. Sodom. You ever listen to Sodom? Yep, Sodom. Yeah. Um, what's another one? Uh, Ultimatum was another one that we started getting Creator. into. Creator. Creator. Oh, you're there, going German shit there. Yeah. So many different things. And then, metal. Hey, I noticed you mentioned Metal Church. Oh, yeah. So, speaking of Metal Church. The June hardest 4th. I ever got slammed at a concert was a Metal June Church. 4th. June fucking 4th at the Token Lounge. Torn Away is opening for Metal Fucking Church. Are you really? Yes. No sir. shit. Dude. High five, motherfuckers. Badass, man. One of my favorite We are bands. in the midst of royalty right now. Did, didn't one of the fucking uh, members of Metal Church pass away within the last couple of years? I'm yeah. actually, or? That, that hit me pretty mad. Uh, Mike Howe he ended up uh, offing himself. And it's just. Oh, damn. Every day I'm super excited for the show, but I'm like, dude, why couldn't it be Mike? Because he's one of my biggest vocal influences, the way yeah. he can carry his notes. And like, even in his age, he still hit them notes beautifully. You could barely tell he aged. Didn't you they know, you never it, know what's going on in somebody's head. Didn't they man. open up for Slayer? Mm, I think I've seen Metal Church with Slayer. I wouldn't. Like the I've only been time, to 29 Slayer shows. Like the only time that I went, <laughs> like, like uh, uh, Freedom Hill, whatever. No, that was. I swear it was Metal Church. No, it wasn't Metal Church. One of the cool things, though, is I, I think actually. It was Primus. No, it was not. Them. So I got to meet Metal Church before all of this happened. Uh, when uh, they opened for uh, Monomarth and Megadeth uh, over at, uh, I think it's Little Caesars now. We actually had some really good seats, and instead of watching Suicidal Tendencies play, no offense to them, I'm not really big on them, Metal Church was like, yeah, we'll be out there signing autographs, taking pictures, and talking to fans, and me and my mom were like, what the fuck? So we went <laughs> we're there. there, dude. Yeah, we went out there, met Metal Church, dude. It was just like, that was the first time in my entire life that I didn't know what to say, because I'm like, dude. You fucking fanboy a little dude, bit? Dude, I did. I was, yeah, right. My mom was like, why don't you go up and say something? I'm like... Can I have a picture? <laughs> like hey, I don't mean to butt in, but I did acid with Napalm Death. That was amazing. Night. I actually got to cook for <laughs> Napalm Death years ago. That's his really? fucking catchphrase. I actually got to cook for so. so. Well, I mean, I worked right. at a place next to a concert venue, so like they'd send all the bands over for like, yeah, if you come over to this place, we'll feed them for fucking like. Well, you know, Mitch Harris is from Flint, right? I did not know that. Mike Mitch from, from Detroit. Napalm Death. I did not know that. You know who know. Righteous Pigs are, right? I've heard of them. They're from Flint. Oh I'm, not urg- I'm not urging from Flint, so oh I can still God. claim a lot of ignorance on all things Michigan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mitch is from. We ended up doing acid behind Harpo's one night. We had a fucking riot, dude. I uh, made I made vegetarian bean burgers for Napalm cool. Death. That's my claim to fame. When it comes are they to vegetarians, the- they were. I mean, it was uh, it was Shane Harris uh, or Shane Embury. Shane Embury. Uh, Mitch Harris. Uh, was it Mitch Harris? I think uh, Barney was still is in the band at that point. Yeah, Barney's still in the band. Mitch uh, Harris quit. He went to Scorn and. Did a bunch of other shit. Yeah, because I I know it was uh um oh what is that uh that fucking band they got the funny ass name I don't know they they were corpse paint stuff they were on tour that was like the blacks to the black or some shit or no yeah, idea this was, this was not, the, the the campaign for musical destruction it was Carcass yeah. Cathedral Napalm Death Brutal Truth. We played hacky sack with Dan Wilker. He's a fucking super cool. That guy. is an insane lineup. Yeah, is and he then, pretty good at hacky sack though? No, he sucked. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, I don't remember really. But uh, I have ties. My one of my best buddies in the world, my buddy Bill, is friends. His best friend from Boston, this dude named Al Smith, was in a band called Nightstick, and they put out split EPs with Anal Cunt. Okay. So they're friends with all those guys. Bill grew up with fucking uh, Gigi Allen. <laughs> they know the Allens. They know all them fucking people. <laughs> the Allens. Yeah. <laughs> I had a well, buddy. His brother's like It's a of... really good, respectful family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're great. They make food. I had a buddy back home poop. that introduced me to uh, Anal Cunt, and it was just like, I never listened to their music, but their song titles and their lyrics just cracked me up, and then they put out that album, Pic- Picnic of Love. I don't know if you oh, yeah, I know delve that. into them, and it's just like such a weird fucking It's all terrible. Turn. Yeah. It, it's know? so bad. It's great. Oh, yeah. It's like punk music. You, you have know? a bad day. You it's just look at great, look at it. It's great. Yeah. Right, it makes a giggle. More of my influences, hmm. though. Hmm. Um, I actually listen to like doo-wop shit. Like I like doo-wop and like forties music. Uh, fuck yeah, I love all that old shit. All like that. That. Yeah, I actually have an Ink Spot CD in my car right now. Um, I listen to them, and then I I I started because I was really close-minded when it came to music, especially growing Why, up. Why though? It, I think it was because I grew up in a pretty close-minded household because 
Break the chains, man. Like just like Doc Break and Baby. Break the chains <laughs> around me. <laughs> what, helped, what helped the most though is when I got into playing in bands because I had been writing music and I had my own like seven albums written by the time I was like sixteen. Okay, there, Prince. I know. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I ended up getting in a band. Shows your nipples. A long time ago, that was like black and thrash metal, and I was like, wow, this is pretty sick. I want to listen to more of this. And then I started playing the game brutal legend and that got me into a lot of different things like skeleton witch and like a lot more of the screamy stuff and i'm like holy shit this is fucking awesome like lamb of god ended up getting on the scene um obviously pantera was already there but like i started listening to pantera a lot more heavily i listened to stuff like avenge sevenfold but then i went to like shadows fall um even stuff like uh caligula's horse just i went all over the place with like i wanted to listen to prog oh yeah they're uh they're prog Band from somewhere over in Europe. So, what what is your that's your opinion of Prague? Wait, what? It's like Prague metal to me is like Yes and Rush. That's Prague metal. They're like Prague rock more so. Like I, yeah, it's they take. I check them out, man. I, I like that kind of shit. They they, I, I'm pretty sure they take in. I always thought Rush Prague rock was like music for musicians. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like really you know super saying, right? talented fucking people. Yeah, like, like extra Dream Theater talented, or something. Yeah, yeah. Next yeah. level, like, well, like schooled he, musicians. He not, introduced me to a click of this horse, and I really like them just because it's like it's froggy, but it, it's Whoa. very listenable, though. You know, so they make it very, like, approachable and user friendly. Dude, they write some heavy shit, but the dude sings in falsettos in, like, the most perfect fucking time. So it's like. You ever listen to Coheed and Cambria? <clears throat> yeah, oh, like, yeah. Coheed, yeah uh, dude. Welcome Home was, like, one of my fucking childhood, like, ballads. I don't know why, but like that was the song everyone was like, "Oh, can you sing this? I want you to sing this song." Like, <laughs> all right, that would be my next question. <laughs> what's a, what's a guilty pleasure? Guilty. One of mine is probably my morning jacket. You ever listen to that band? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's I going only, back a bit. I only dude, know about they're them fucking amazing. I know them about them because of American Dad. I'm not gonna lie. We went and right. seen them live, dude. I was blown fucking away. That's where I learned too. Yeah. <laughs> the dude's voice is like that weird falsetto thing going yeah. on. But god damn, dude, he's so fucking good at it. Dude, this song came on the freaking jukebox. At, uh, I was getting like lunch yesterday at the bar. Uh, the Pretty Reckless. Yeah, The Pretty Reckless is great. Dude, her I, fucking voice is fucking amazing. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's Cindy Lou Who on vocals. I know. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, that's, yeah. Crazy. that's crazy. Uh, did you, you know that? Talk, like, I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to talk like guilty pleasures, I listen to some stuff like um, there's yeah, a, an artist called Aurelio Voltaire. He does like gothic. I'm, th- I'm hip. Yeah, he does like gothic. You know what it is? Type yeah. Stuff. I like his stuff, and I, I would say like the the forties doo wop type stuff. Like that's that's another guilty pleasure. Because okay, to get back stuff. off topic, my buddy turned me on to this stuff from the thirties and forties. It's like big band music, but mm-hmm. it's all about murder and death and all this fucking really super dark fucking. Is it shit? like murder ballad type shit or whatever. Yeah, but like you know, like fucking, you know, I got in an argument with this guy in a bar, so I fucking stabbed him sixty times. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's like really bizarre. Yeah, but it's like big band music. But there's it's super fun. dark metal fucking There's themes. a song by a guy who goes by Roy Brown. He wrote a song called Butcher Pete. <laughs> and it's about literally a butcher that goes insane and kills people. So it's pretty cool. I actually know about <laughs> from that. From like from the Fallout. 40s though, right? Yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same shit I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm like, dude, where did you find this shit? He's like, I don't stumbled across it. I mean, I, I found it on Fallout. Like Fallout was like one of my favorite game franchises. So, And I love the, the soundtracks for every one of those games. So, Have you ever checked you out... You and my a, kid would get along You, you ever well. check out Woman... Uh, How old are you? I am 25. Yeah, he's the same age. There's a singer called uh, Nina Simone. Sounds I, familiar. I, dude, if you're not... Dude, check her out, dude. I need a boner? Dude, she's just like fucking like 40s, 50s, just like... <laughs> just angry fucking oh, like dude, woman dude catch on tape what'd you do i farted hard <laughs> he just caught it in his box or something <laughs> yeah. i didn't hear it but i felt some vibration what do you say it was my left butthole yeah. <laughs> all right i'll tell you guys come on what's your guilty yeah, pleasure bro bring it, bring it down george michael oh god that's no, terrible some of wham isn't it's bad dude kid. no not wham george michael Really? His voice. Uh, I love his voice. I don't know why. That was George Michael right have. there from the grave. <laughs> I always have loved his voice. Really? I don't know what it is, but... So you just like celebrate the whole catalog type thing? Uh, like, no, fucking... there's there's certain songs that All guilty I pledgers really are like, pick and choose. But... They're all pick and choose. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes. I, yeah. See, that is a prime example of a guilty pleasure because, like, a lot of people don't like him in general, and especially in right. the rock, metal scene, right. whatever. Um, 
so the fact that you said like 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 forties, fifties, whatever, like like doo-wop, whatever shit, that's really not a guilty pleasure because that's just that's just good. That's music. a genre, right? Yeah. But like, but to, to, to drop George Michael, yeah. right? I'm like, damn, what's that, your, what's your pronouns, bro? That came out of left field. <laughs> I mean, if you listen to what he said about it, him growing up, though, he grew up through that kind of stuff. So right. obviously, he heard. Yeah, it, so did we all. I mean, I was born in '70, so valid. You know, right? When I was eight years old, my mom, my first brand new records in the cellophane were Paranoid and Aqualung. Aqualung, I fucking love Jethro Tull. I got Dude, how good are they? I got nice. fucking Jay Giles and uh, uh, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts same Joan fucking Jett, day. You can't go wrong with Joan Jett. I fucking love Joan Jett. Was I saw it, her like, concert years ago. It? She was a fucking blast. Yeah. Never seen her live, I seen her dude. at Freedom Hill in probably 1990. She was fucking insane good, dude. Yeah. The Blackhearts were She is still amazing. great. I saw her on, uh, what was it, Jimmy Kimmel or some shit? I mean, she fucked up her back? face, too, Ruth though, Clinton man. Or something like that. Well, I mean, she's just, like she's, she's almost solid. seventy now, or but some dude, shit. Though. Yeah, yeah, get old. So you don't have to fucking fix your face. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter if you're granny slammer. <laughs> That's it, man. <laughs> you can't you fuck with decades great. of experience, bro. If you fuck them on a hill, they look like they're fucking ten years younger. That's how that works, right? <laughs> oh, that's I didn't bring pen up. I should have wrote that down. <laughs> that's fucked. Or up. I get rich to pull <laughs> on their ankles, makes them look fucking ten years younger. <laughs> right. right. You gotta pull skin taut. <laughs> yeah, pull it all taut, <laughs> toit like a tiger. I, 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 like, I like the gravity on the hill thing. Just gravity just takes. Yeah, care man. Of it. You take them to the pie knob and just face the band. <laughs> take her to the yeah, knob. Man, she's young, man. To the knob. I banged her at the knob. <laughs> take the knob at the knob. Yeah, yeah. the knob at the knob. I got knobbed at the knob. <laughs> That's a great T-shirt idea. That was a great my, bumper sticker. At least got my knob shined at, at the, the knob. knob. <laughs> <laughs> I got my knob polished at the knob. But it cost me a fourteen dollar beer, though. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. All right, we're gonna take another break. Play some more. Tore away.
show mercy Who won't be sheltered We will not hear you when the shots ring out We won't show mercy when the shots ring out So you better shut your goddamn mouth We will not hear you when the shots ring out The sort of pickets for the slack shot And we're back. Anybody ever listen to the Dayglow Abortions? Do you remember those guys? They got an album called Two Dogs Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great album. Dude, for real. I know you, you think I'm fucking around, but go and listen yeah, to right. it, dude. It's incredible. Some of the best punk rock you'll ever hear in your life. It's kind of up there with the Dead Kennedys type stuff. Okay. You know, the, they call the Kennedys punk, but I don't think they are. You know what I mean? Especially the later albums are more... They're the dead Kennedys. It's, you know. You know what's funny? When you have a couple beers in you, you fucking loosen up like a motherfucker. You, yeah. t- you fucking chat a lot more, man. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. <laughs> I don't Welcome know. Three points. Call us. Nice. I don't know if it's uh, too late to mention, but you guys were mentioning something about guilty pleasures. I have to be up front because if my. If my oh, here we go. This, it's about to get dirty. I jerk off to this, Michael Jackson. Uh-oh. No, if my girlfriend, <laughs> Michael no, I Jordan. Fucking, I love Michael Jackson, but who doesn't? But no, right. uh, if my girlfriend listens to this and I don't, I don't went it, to his house and drank wine. Fuck she's it, gonna man. Be upset. Um, I I grew up with like Disney Channel, so I still listen to the Jonas Brothers every once in a while. Nice. Oh, they suck, that is dude. very guilty. Get the fuck out of my house right fucking now, <laughs> dude. They're terrible. I mean, wouldn't it be funny if they were all like fucking hardcore Satan worshippers? That'd be sick as fuck, wouldn't it? You know, before they go on stage, they're shooting fucking heroin into their toes or something. Yeah, right. Okay, so so do, do you remember um, iCarly? Yes. The girl on the show, uh, Miranda, Miranda Cosgrove, she put out a record. Mm. She has a song called uh, How I Feel About You Now or something like that. It's pretty good. Did you listen to it? I've heard it before. It's good. I want to fucking cover this fucking Make it song, punk rock. Dude. Yeah. They're getting on me about Jonah. I might have to rejoin know, the band talk. if that happens. Miranda Cosgrove. Why don't you just rejoin now? I don't know. Do it. Do it on this episode. Let's uh, let's see some magic yeah. happen, guys. Are you still going to replace me every five minutes? You quit. Nah, you should listen to yourself talk. We just want magic to happen. Anyway, I will, pull, I will pull throughout. I'm bowing out. You guys, it's episode 69. Yeah, let's is. fucking do this. If yeah, you don't this fucking is. step up, I'm going to replace you. I'm going to fucking. Who I'm the fuck start. said that? You did. Never. Four times. Ooh. Never. Every time. Uh-oh. You've threatened to quit how Jerry, many fucking times? Jerry. <laughs> no, no. That's we're, different. We're having this out right That's now. different. No. Way different. No. That was always joking. If we don't fucking start doing something, I'm going to find. I'm going to start other, playing with other guys. Fuck it. No, 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 no! I never said that. I, I said I was gonna find, I was gonna do a, a fucking side project. I did do, say that, hundred percent. Do your side project. I will. All right. I God decide. damn it! I still quit. Side project. Fuck I joined so I can quit. You, st- you say you still quit? <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole! <laughs> why, why the fuck did we just waste thirty seconds there? I don't know because it was fun. No, no, that was not fun. I actually had fucking high hopes there for a second. Fucking jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all. I still love you today. though. I love you too, man. I love him too. Look at him. He's getting mad. He looks like one of the Sidon guys now, I, getting all fucking pissed up. Nobody's talking about anything serious. He looks like Jack Black if you got him off Wish. <laughs> I mean, I. Dollar Tree up, Jack Black? Dude, growing up, I used to say. I Are was you Jack hungry? Black, Should we so order a pizza? Will that make you happy? I'm, I'm all right, man. I'm waiting for Del Taco. I can throw it on a slice. <laughs> Let's just get everybody all rolled out like, Del Taco together. You guys I, are like really excited about like Del Taco, like for real. Fuck yeah. Dude, when we first started playing at it, uh, the it Hot is, Rock, there's just like, oh, there's a dude, fucking Del Taco so fucking right up the fucking way. Up. This dude's been smoking pot constantly since we started. This guy smokes enough pot to keep a small army high. Dude, he hot boxes yeah. his basement. Pretty it's much. Pretty fucking big. He's like, I'm at fucking 2020 vision right now, dude. <laughs> right. I've been smoking like a motherfucker. <laughs> That's what's wrong with me. I'm getting contact. <laughs> I don't probably. need to see. <laughs> right, <laughs> I, I can't even smell the weed, man. Like, I'm like seeing God like, right now, dude. It's I all good. I need to see. I feel everything. Uh, one hitter. Is, all the smoke is actually oh, for is echo. Is that your one hitter? Like in yeah. your uh, oh, yeah. fucking genius, man. Yeah. My dude, where'd you get the Sex Panther shirt? That's what I want to know. Uh, I ordered it on eBay. I, I'll trade you my sweatshirt for it. Right now. <laughs> I just got it. It's brand. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. Sixty percent of the time, worth every time. I could take a picture of that. If I can just make it. 
All right, I'm going to ask a serious question. What's in the future for you guys? You guys got an album going? We got with the big gig? You're opening for fucking... Metal Church, yeah. Um, we've got... That's huge, dude. That's huge. Dude, yeah. Come metal, on, man. Metal Church Are you paying to play? Three. Or you get... Ah, uh, oh, you fuckers. Is there a guy in the... <laughs> wait, wait, so who booked the show? Who, who do you think booked the show? You're probably right. Oh. Is it Paul? Is it, is it, 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 yeah, you is almost it, said it. Paul Cobb? Oh. It might be. Yeah, you ain't getting paid shit. Oh. We've I, made peace with that fact. It's a, it's an opportunity for us. And but this guy was okay. So if you actually have like merch to sell there, you will actually oh yeah. fucking make fucking money. We've got merch. Yeah. You, but you ain't gonna make shit at the fucking door. We've made peace with that, that fact. That motherfucker is a piece of shit. Fuck him. No, we uh, I, I can't stand. I him. actually have enough people that we might actually get profit off of it. That's how many people. Are you will. You will not. I mean, even if we don't, like, it's it's. Metal Church is in my top three favorite bands of all. I understand time, so. that. I mean, that's awesome, but it's still, I mean, driving from Flint to fucking Westland, that's gas, man. That's that's gonna cost y'all. I think the last time we played a have, show for him, we made fifty bucks, so I think I covered gas. Yeah, but have fucking merch, man. Fucking sell oh, yeah, that shit. Yeah, you'll fucking make your money, and you'll be fucking like, that was worth it, dude. You know what torn away is. First and foremost, we're making music for people to love, but I'm also running a business with my, with my boys. That's self sustaining. We're making merch, and like that's how we keep making this music. Like, yeah. If if you learn anything today, know that buying merch from the bands that you love is what keeps them afloat. A fucking men, yep. brother. A fucking men. And we got a variety of shit too. We, we're gonna have shirts. We're gonna get hats made up. If you want a hoodie, just let us know. We'll do it to order, kind of thing. We I've got, got lighters. I've got a fucking rolling trays with pipes. I mean, <laughs> all the shit. All <laughs> nice. Dude, we saw a lot of those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a bunch of fucking degenerates. I tell you what, dude. The thing that I sell the most w- with band shit on it is fucking coffee mugs. No shit. I swear to God, dude. What? Big profit margin. Oh, well, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> We're gonna have a little powwow after this. Gets I'm over. telling you. We're gonna talk some shop. You can make you can make some cash in that shit, dude. Other things coming out though. Um, like we mentioned, one of our, one of our playthroughs, uh, we've got something coming out on 4:20 for you guys. Something which is what? Mm, yeah. What you can't it's a, tell? It's a Thursday, or, right? Where do they zone in on it though? All right, so where, uh, where, 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 do they, where do they get alerts for when 4:20 you keep, is coming? Keep an eye on our socials, like uh, which is like what Instagram, Four days Facebook. Away? Uh, we've got our YouTube and everything. So we are actually going to yeah, release... Yeah, 420 is like four days away. Yeah, exactly. We wanted to save it for this because we were like, all right. This podcast is not even going to air it. until right. like after the fact. That's I mean, well, the live videos will, but like this podcast right now is not going to air until Friday. Okay. So you guys, yesterday, you should have checked out what we announced. Yeah, uh, you should have. <laughs> what the fuck? You should have seen what we did on Wednesday, man. It was yeah. fucked. It was fire. You missed some magic, boys. No, we're, we're still we're promoting it on YouTube, or not YouTube, on Facebook and all that stuff, and we're hyping it up. We've been throwing like clips out there of like pieces of... You've been threatening people with We've some, been, with a good I've time? Been, I've been going to people's houses, knocking on the door like yeah. the police. <laughs> Old school. Had, Yo, cop knocking. <laughs> would you like a donut? Would you cop like, knocking. Would you like to learn about your Lord and Savior torn away and all that kind of thing? But um, no... <laughs> <laughs> Would you we'll like a bottle of water and a torn away CD? <laughs> or, Would you like uh, a bottle of wine or bam, it's wine. Look what I did there. <laughs> Fuck off. Skidoos. I like your style, man. That's awesome. <laughs> but we've got, uh, well, I'll just say it. We got We're a, not going to let you talk, you know it. We, <laughs> we've got an EP coming up. <laughs> 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 Allegedly. Be, is it be, done? We, yeah, it's done and recorded. We're we, It's literally pending on dis. dis- Where'd you dis- record it at? In floodwater, but we oh, uh, in your basement, nice. We invested in a lot more professional equipment, and we actually got it sounding really fucking nice. Yeah, so, yes. what did so, you guys record on? Did you guys mix and master? Oh, sorry. Yeah, we mixed and mastered it all. Uh, we recorded it. Um, I use Reaper as a, a main DAW, and then we have the what the fuck is it called? The the Focusrite sixteen no, X eighteen I twenty eighteen I twenty. That's what I have. I have fucking two of those over yep. here. Oh, they're yeah. killer, man! I love that. I thing. got an Octopre also. Actually, I, I have one 18 i 20 and, and a fucking Octopree. Yeah, that's R- all we R- use. Yeah, Dude, fuck, fucking solid. run an ADAT and shit. Yeah. Yep. We yep. actually did kind of split things up. Same too. gear. So yep. we Same recorded Z's. and we focused on his drums while we were at his house because I actually have a super expensive computer to do that kind of stuff. So... I ended up taking all the stuff that we had done at his house, taking it to my house. Alienware ain't that cool, dude. It's, yeah, but oh, it's not Alienware. No, it's all AMD and like Nvidia and all that stuff. Okay, so having having a great computer is awesome, but knowing how to fucking actually oh, 
that's, mix and master. That's, that's some, a whole. That's next level shit, dude. That's something right. I've worked on since I was like, like I said, I was recording stuff way back when. Right, and, and I tell you what, as like, a band, like, you, you should record your own shit and then give it to somebody else to mix. That's, that's I, I agree we, a thousand that's percent. That's what we were thinking that. about doing, and we actually did get some samples from some relatively bigger name people, like one of the dudes mixed for like Anthrax and stuff like that. And it was just like it didn't catch the the vibe we were going for because like really, there's, there's a lot. Did of, you do it for free and then like. Oh no no! He, that was definitely not free. I no. paid that no. motherfucker two hundred fifty bucks for for that. No, it was, uh, and it was nice enough all. guy, but yeah, no. no. And it's it's like, like I said, I've been doing this a long time, and you learn these things, especially since I also know people who work in studios, and I get information from them, and just over time, you, you like your own grunge on your own music, you right? Know you I mean? like your own stank. And yeah. The thing that pisses me off the most about modern music is that it's all processed the same exact fucking way. Yeah. Nothing stands out. So I like that little bit of garage band sound. Like you were saying about Metallica earlier, how they got a little bit of grunge in it. You can hear them imperfections. That's what makes the music so impactful. It's not, it's not okay, well, this is done to a click. This is quantized. No, if it's a slight... It's got, every every band has got the same fucking drum sample. It, it the takes the kick personality sample. out of it. You know, yeah. like Metal Church, the human factor. Like, it takes the human factor out of it, you know? So that's why I kind of wanted to do it our own way. And I'm not opposed to sending that's it That's why I like or... amps mic'd up. I don't like going direct into yeah, the board. Yeah, exactly. I like an amp, dude. The only, the only reason <laughs> I... We, we, we were actually sound. going back and forth about this the other day. That, that was you and I, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, with the mixer and all that. Yep. And, like, I, I was honestly really dead set against that, to be honest with you. Like, I really like that live amp sound. Like, like yep. the, just the, that vibe in a freaking room. Especially, like, a live scenario like this, man. I wasn't trying to be like a jerk to you or anything no, like that. No. Oh no, man! We're, it's we're just good. something that we were really excited about and we really wanted to try. No, no, I get it. I get it. No. I, I I wish you guys would have bought your uh, your freaking in ear in in ear monitors though, because like I've never been actually uh, never actually hooked those up before. Yeah, we actually had that all in the same system. Yeah. So um, had we brought that, we would have been able to like you know not bring the amps and all that and just um, we would have been cramped in an Impala on the way here. Yeah, it was it was pretty tight in there. Okay. <laughs> But you know, I, I had fun playing for you guys. So no, no, it was a good time. I mean, we're. A, what do you mean was a good time? This is a good time. The, the music was a better time, though. I'm not gonna lie. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Every time I Cameron, perform, I'm in damn, my bro. own world, man. I, I mean, I'm the most happy place. You guys I'm, had a good zone going. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this guy. I like. I'm it, sick man. of this guy already. <laughs> <laughs> he really loves me. I do love you. <laughs> That's why. Uh, my pants are still squishy. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what that fucking means, man. <laughs> I'm all squishy. But we always uh, have a, we kind of have a running joke. It's like every time we're doing band stuff, we all have to wear our boner pants <laughs> just because things happen. You know, is that where that come up earlier? Right. Oh, he, the he boner pants that. is a common common. Oh, Dave phrase. didn't wear his boner pants. I'm like, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little short. <laughs> Polyester can still be boner pants. They can. Again, I was out yesterday getting lunch, and some guy fucking said something along the lines of, uh, "Your dick don't even go over your balls." Yeah, and it, that just—I just fucking it's lost it's my dicky shit. Do. Your balls <laughs> hang farther than your dicky do. Give her the old what? light switch. <laughs> we got more stuff coming though. We've got uh, what about what about shows? Um, yeah, we've got and besides Middle Church, obviously, which is great. We've got a an acoustic show actually set up at the Flushing Valley Golf Course. Really, it's going to be fun. What kind of acoustic you got? I have a big old Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's, it's tucked in my sock right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a Johnson and I have a Washburn actually. So I'm I'm still debating on which one I want to use. You know what? I, I, I've played a few fucking Yamaha acoustics that Yamaha's are fucking are nice. amazing. Yeah. My I, my I like kid's stepdad watch. has a fucking old Yamaha from the seventies. <laughs> is an amazing guitar, dude. That fucking got him. He's dying over there. <laughs> <laughs> he was he wasn't expecting the fat Johnson. Dude. I was like, I get a big old like he, just to look. You're so serious. Like I get a big old. My buddy's Johnson. got an old Johnson amp, dude. Is a badass amp, I've player, never, dude. Dude, I my I've never, it's a badass amp. I've never heard of Johnson they're really uh, nice. instruments. Yeah, they, 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 they were, were bought out by this, Gibson also. Yes, I think. Gibson. Oh, that's yep. weird. You are correct, sir. <laughs> Gibson's taking over. I yeah. my base. I, I got a big old Johnson, yeah. big old Raven. And if they get any kind of competition, <laughs> they just the buy it. Bird, yeah, you know? they just throw the money around, <laughs> yep. buy them up. and then fuck it all up. Yeah. Do you know somebody at Gibson had a plan to go all electronic instruments? Like they were going to stop making guitars and make keyboards and a bunch of bullshit. The keyword in that statement is had. Uh, yep. 
Uh, DW just sold out to Roland. No. Yeah, Roland owns DW now. No. It's still all the same people at DW. Did somebody else signing the pages? But Roland is the one paying everybody now. So oh. it's American company sold so to the So they're going to start fucking leaning on them and making it. Well, yeah. they wanted all of DW's technology. You know what I mean? So right. So that's what they did. They ended up. I'm probably get fired for it. But that's what the Chinese did with our company. They bought it. They got all the secrets now. They got all yep. the. Yep. Yep. I wish oh, I had that kind of money to well. buy all the secrets of all my enemies. More future stuff, though. We've got that EP coming out. We've got a couple shows lined up. You're going to send us one of them discs, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. We Well, honestly, we'll, we'll package the whole thing together with the art and everything. You're going to oh. send me your package? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wink. I mean, Love ya. Okay, so <laughs> you had him at uh, Big Johnson. You had me at Johnson. <laughs> we got an actual album coming out, though, after the Marked Ones EP. It's called Slow Motion Horror Show. You will hear those songs or have heard those songs. Who's doing the artwork? The guy did your banner? Um, The album artwork. Indonesian still, Steve. The banner's still, pretty sweet. If it would have been behind the drummer, it looks like he's fucking rah, drummer. Yeah, we call him the Black. He's our mascot. He's the one who kind of is going to be a reoccurring the Black. Thing. Because we, uh, we have a song called I Walk Among Them where one of the lyrics is, bring me to him who deals with the black. And he's the black. He's he's the reaper. He's the whatever you want to call him. We actually had lore set up behind uh, the As We Rise album because the As We Rise album cover, it was an angel and he was like burning and everything was like melting off of him. And he turned into the black. He turned from like a regular angel to like the angel of death. Kind of thing. So. Evolution. Well, you start building a little popularity. You need to start that whole thing over again. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, and one of my biggest influences being Iron Maiden, I really want a mascot because that's what had them stick out among. Eddie rules. Yeah, Eddie, Eddie's the shit. Like, and he is in so many I think Rattlehead's scenarios. cooler, though. Yeah. Rattlehead, yeah. I mean, if, if Dave Mustaine your... wasn't such a cunt. Who's Rattlehead? Vic Rattlehead. Vic Rattlehead. Meg- Megadeth. Megadeth. Rattle your goddamn head. Oh, yeah, I like that, man. I mean, <laughs> if you like early Metallica, you like Megadeth. No, I don't. It's all Megadeth. All the way into Master of Puppets is Dave Mustaine. I like good music. <laughs> Dave Mustaine yeah, is the best member of Metallica. <laughs> Black Sabbath's the worst band ever. No, I didn't say that. Rush sucks. I, uh, Rush does suck. No, Rush doesn't. I've never suck. said Black Sabbath's the worst band ever. I, said, I don't like Black Sabbath. He's out here saying I like good music, and then he's going to name his favorite band, and it's going to be some shit-ass punk band, right? Social distortion. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Fucking called him out. <laughs> Fucking ain't right. You goddamn right. That's who it is. I mean, I I uh, I know a single single distortion song. Single, Social distortion. Single distortion. I've had. I can't name one. Fucking uh, three Floyd's. Leave me alone. We're fucking done with you. I was wrong, guys. Do you want another beer? I was wrong. Yeah, that, that's it. That actually is the name of the that's song. song. I know. I, song oh, I remember that on MTV. <laughs> I only know it because of fucking rock band. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool, man. I like them. Though. Where, where are you going, Dave? He's going to get He's getting me oh, drunk. Shit. Oh, shit. We, uh, yes, please. We actually don't have art set up yet. We've been using AI art, actually, to kind of try to get a basis for the album cover, though. I've hey. actually been screwing around. What? Ass kicker, or you want to... What's that? What do you want? I'll, I'll Did you just little, say uh, ass liquor? I'll take a little bat. I'm fucking hammered. Which asshole are you licking? My right or my left one? <laughs> Both. <laughs> At the same time. Thank you, sir. Just a horizontal lick. That's all I need. Thank you, man. That was very awesome. Three Floyd's oh. zombie dust. Wish I could still smoke pot. I can't. I get too fucked up. So the songs that we played, Ferryman and Sticks, is actually the intro to the album, though. That was my favorite one of the night. It's That's the newest one. That's a yeah. fucking It might be because I think it's you guys got more comfortable at that point. That's the one. We're warmed working. up at that point. Yeah, you're warmed up. Alone. Yeah, yeah. It's also the one we've been working on the most. The bass wasn't sure. all fucked up. I don't, yeah. I'm just, just kidding, dude. I, uh, <laughs> you know, I, mean, I my boner went down a little bit, so all my blood yeah, yeah. went back to that. I got that. a little soft. My guitar settled a bit. That was good. I mean, every good band knows they don't need a bassist. <laughs> yeah. I'm just here for the sex appeal, guys. He's here for sex appeal and the massive, oh, yeah, it's massive fucking sexy. All right. head. Did you see my boner right now? Yeah. <laughs> You know his fucking pronouns are fee fum. <laughs> she and it. She, she and, and it. She it. What's your pronouns? It. <laughs> pronouns are go fuck yourself. Leave me alone. I like that. I like that a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Oh my goodness. So if you guys could open for any band on the planet. 
Oh, fuck. Social distortion. It's going to be different for and each I, one of us. I know that, and Black Sabbath is mine. We've been so, over this a thousand times. <laughs> are we doing bands that are still currently... No, any band or? ever. Doesn't matter. In their prime, Jesus we can pick that. In their prime. I want... This is what I want. I want a band and a venue. Oh, shit. You're fucking going over the top there, buddy. I am. Dave's fucking ham. Look at it. Okay. He's thinking hard. Okay. Okay. A band and a, and a I'm, venue. I'm also thinking, like, what does our music match? And we call it's, ourselves... No, like, it doesn't matter. No, no, no. I, I, I'm thinking of, like, we're going to make money off their fans kind of thing. I'm thinking business strat. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're no, saying, I'm thinking I'm thinking the heart. I mean, this even comes from the heart because I love Pantera. So opening for Pantera and, like, Times Square would be the sickest fucking shit, I think. Because that would be televised fucking everywhere. Nobody's ever said Times Square before. Nobody ever. Wouldn't that would, be it would have to be on uh, New Year's Eve with Dick Clark? No. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> with Clark's dick? Just rolls old bones out there. <laughs> Super cock. <laughs> I <laughs> guess it's Ryan Seacrest now. I mean, I, Fuck that guy. I would love to open for Iron Maiden, but I really don't think. Like, f- my heart says Maiden in, like, the fucking 80s. Like, Power oh, Slave dude. era, like hundred percent. Dude like, has a perfect album. That's another perfect oh, album. Yes, front well, to I, back. that's the next question. But front to back, yes, favorite. One yeah. of front favorites. to back, don't get an infection. Yeah, <laughs> never wipe front to back <laughs> or back to front. Yeah, you wipe. That's where you get all the flavor from. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's got Your a couple balls more calories. Smell like poop. <laughs> for the calories, <laughs> for the calories. I'm on a diet. <laughs> it tastes like Mexican. <laughs> I mean, with the hair down there, you got some berries. It's all good. Mm. <laughs> Corn is good for you guys. And that's what Del Taco t- uh, fucking tastes like. Yeah, like garbage. Back to front. That's what Del Taco tastes <laughs> like. It tastes like so- Social Distortions music, I guess. Oh, oh shit. Oh. High five, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I will take that. I do like Social Distortion a little bit. I, I, I won't tell him that, but I do I, like I it. don't mind them, but they're not my favorite. It's all the same. I mean, I was wrong. Every song is identical. Like so is Iron Maiden. What? Well, I don't even hear Kinda, what you said. Yeah, Iron Maiden is... Iron Maiden's Iron Maiden. It's another band. Like I don't, I don't, I don't, Social Distortion maybe isn't all the same, but if you put it on, you go, that's Social Distortion. But yeah. Well, if you put so, it on, it's like, that's Black Sabbath. That's Rush. They have their own thing. But that's actually, Three notes in and but you know that's it's actually a cool thing, though. Like, if you hear a couple of notes of, of a band and you know it's that fucking band. That is kind of cool. That That's actually pretty cool. But the bad the bad instances of that is like Disturbed and Godsmack where every song sounds the fucking same. Yeah, but that's garbage. It's different. And I'm going to say it. And you guys are probably going to hate me, but fucking. I do fucking, like Godsmack. Motorhead. I every do. song's the fucking same. Everything is Ace of Spades. I fucking hate you now. That's fine. Mm. I've been to 25 fucking Motorhead shows. I never saw them one time. And they're fucking incredible. I fucked up. I, I Every respect single them fucking and I fucking time. love what they did for the metal community, but I'm, I just can't back it. Like the songwriting's. Pr- they were more about partying and being like up there and like. They were energetic. founders of that fucking community, man. Yeah, exactly. And I respect them for that, but. St. Lemmy, baby. Yeah. What about you? Uh, yeah, we're done with you. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> you guys know the band In Flames. Yes, absolutely. I think back in the day, like uh, yeah. late '90s, would have been a really fun time to play their, their newer stuff. I haven't been a super big fan of either that or maybe uh, a band I really love called Full Devil Jacket, which uh, people know them or they don't. But I've heard of them. I love them. I, they're, I mean, they're a perfect band to me. They're really good. Um, and as far as venue, um, in front of Mount Rushmore, just because I don't, I've never seen a band do that before. Nobody's ever said that before either. And I'm from South Dakota, too, so I got to give some love to the home state. That would be awesome, dude. I went there when I was 13 years old. And the monument is cool. What impressed me the most was the pile of rocks in front of the monument. Oh, they still got all the rubble there and All shit. the shit they chipped off that was laying on the fucking ground. Like a half a fucking mountain, dude. <laughs> Did you ever uh, see what they're doing now? They've, they're doing a new, another monument called uh, Crazy Horse. Yeah, Crazy Horse has been... Yeah. They started that before Mount Rushmore, I think. Oh, yeah, they're still... It's, it's like privately funded, Why so haven't it's they put so the fucking slow. money in to finish it for the fucking Indians? And then, you know, the biggest thing is the Indians are like, fuck all these fucking monuments, leave our mountains alone. Yeah, <laughs> give us back our land, you know, yeah. it's sacred. Hiya, hiya. Yeah. I... <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> that was uncalled for. Cancel that. Nigga. Next he's going to be like. <laughs> yeah, you have to leave. You can't say that here. Yeah, Rich, you should go home now. What the <laughs> fuck? You're done, boy. Nipples. Wow. Please, what, about, what about you, drummer guy? cancel us. Man. Uh, probably Ozzy at the Alamo. 
Didn't he piss on the Alamo? Yeah. I'd take a <laughs> shit on the Alamo right now. <laughs> Fuck the Alamo. I heard he got banned for a decade, went back and rocked the place. <laughs> exactly. More than a decade. I think it was like 30 years, dude, before he went back and played. What era is he, though? Like, uh, what guitarist? I don't even care. Tony Iommi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Here, well played, you Dave. Controversial well take. played. <laughs> I got a controversial take for you guys. I think Ozzy is actually the weakest link in every project he's been in. I, I really don't have a fight in this fucking uh, argument. Because, I mean, all the guitarists he's had. He doesn't are, like Ozzy anything. So. I mean, I, I love Ozzy, but I feel like. I like Blizzard of Oz. He's he's Good the album. weakest link because, like, he's or had diarrhea some of the diarrhea best of fucking guitarists Madman. he had with Diarrhea the yeah, like a what? madman? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's had some of the greatest he had, musicians he had on the, the shits. planet. So. I mean, all the guitarists he had in the solo projects are fucking amazing. And they're like, they they broke new ground every time they played with him. Especially Jiggy like Lee, Jiggy Tony. Lee did, yeah. No. Dude, Bark at the Moon is one of the best guitar riffs ever written. It's a good album. How about this? I think Randy Rose's guitar tone is shit. Oh yeah, mixing wise, it sounds fucking awful. Like if you separate it by itself, it's. Awful. I know he's an amazing. Have you, have you seen the thing where Ozzy goes to the vault underneath the mountain, and they play him? Oh yeah, the Randy yeah. Rhodes shit that nobody's ever heard, mm-hmm. and it sounds way better than what they put on the fucking mm-hmm. record. Ozzy's crying. You like, know why? Holy shit, man. You know why that shit got, got fucked around with? Because of Sharon. Sharon fucked with yeah. all of his oh, of course. all the time. Naturally. And Sharon's also you, the you, you know what they say, though, right? Tits or tires, it's going to give you trouble. <laughs> Eventually. Don't listen to him, honey. <laughs> I love you. Don't worry. I'm not listening to the bad guys. <laughs> I'm talking to my car. Okay. Uh, so I got a question for you. Other than Ozzy, who's your favorite Black Sabbath vocalist? Ozzy. Um, I'd have to go Dio. Dio? What do you think of the other guys they had? I really like Born Again with the dude from uh, Deep Purple. Ian, what the fuck's his name? Ian uh, Gillen. Ian Gillen. Who's the other guy? They have Ray something? Or? The rest of them are kind of... Wait a minute. So, like, Sabbath has had more singers than Ozzy and Dio? Yes. I'm, t- I'm, <laughs> I'm learning something fucking new right now. I, I'm just I no glad idea. you didn't say Ice-T. <laughs> Uh, first of all, Ice T. Yeah, rolls. you know, have you ever listened to the album Iomi? Yeah, I with uh, Laughing Man and the Devil Mask and yeah, Laughing yeah. Man and the Devil Mask. Yeah, uh, fucking who's all on that? Anselmo Rollins, uh, Rollins, uh, Billy Corgan Billy is on Corgan, there. Um, there's a whole bunch of fucking uh, Dave Grohl's on there. Dave Grohl. Yeah, yep. yeah, I've got that album somewhere. Yeah, that's the one. Where Zach Wilde's like, fuck Dave Grohl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna beat his ass. But I mean, um, could you imagine Zach Wilde coming down and want to fucking fight? Yeah. Well, they, I mean, Dave Grohl did that uh, metal album too a few years ago. Uh, Probot. Probot's bad as fuck, dude. Yeah. Yeah, and he's got the dude from Venom. Uh, yeah, Lee Dorian from fucking Cathedral. Lee Dorian, there. Tom yeah. G. Warrior from fucking Celtic Frost. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's that a was a legit of, uh, fucking album. Uh, what's his album. name from? Um, uh, I'm fucking getting drunk and I can't remember. But yeah, that whole album. Fucking, is fucking Wino's on Jack there. Black. Dude, he had everybody. Josh Homme has to be on there, right? No. That was oh, before Josh. If we're speaking Jack Black, can we talk about... Dude, do you know the song, I Am the Warlock? Do you I know think, that tune? I think I've heard that one, yeah. Dude, listen to it again, because you it'll be in your constant rotation forever. Dude, I fucking love it, everything. It's badass, Jack dude. Does, though. Jack Black is my dad. He's, he's my Hollywood dad, <laughs> He's for my sure. dad. Can we tell? <laughs> <laughs> no, they were one of the bigger oh, influences on me, too. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Why? Because... I should have stood up. Oh, that, that was, was a badass. ripper. That was a ripper. We said put some stank on it, and he took it literally. Yeah, that yeah. was a fucking hemorrhoid vibrating. He just wanted to eat a biscuit real quick. So, you, so you decided to fart into your <laughs> own mic, baby duck, that mic back to your mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give it a lick. <laughs> He's fucking. Lo- I love this guy. Over. This guy That's fucking terrible. laughs. That's terrible. Mm. No, it's not. Yeah. Everybody loves their own brand. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not really. <laughs> My farts don't stink though. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. what someone in denial would say. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back and wrap this shit up with.
What's the name Tor- of the game? Tor- 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 Oh, that hurt my throat. <laughs> it broke. I'm not that. I'm not that metal. <laughs> Over here, bruising throats again. Bruising throats. It yeah. It's, fuck you, because you got a big dick. That don't mean nothing. <laughs> I mean, that's how you use it too. Wait, though, you the know? way you yeah. said that, are you coming on to him? Fuck you, because you got a big dick. Is that is that what you're saying? Should we leave? Give you guys some alone time. Uh, no, yeah. that's all right. Twenty bucks is twenty bucks, dude. Right. <laughs> Hand job is still a job, dude. <laughs> Genius. I, I mean, all you got to do is blind him, and then you'll get a fucking blowjob. Okay, just so go to that guy. You ain't got to do nothing. True. He can still <laughs> see a little bit. Dude, yeah. Kevin's having the fucking best time out of fucking yeah, everyone. He He's just like laying back in the cut, Because he can't see you. <laughs> He's big chilling. It makes everything better. Oh, that's Aww. fucked up. Yeah, I'm feel. happy just that we can get Kevin I, out of the house and uh, I'm a handsome hang man. out with some guys. Rich know? has got one feeling, and I heard it. Nah. <laughs> Don't even have that. I have half a feeling. <laughs> He's a lovable asshole. What do you mean I hurt your feelings? Uh, I didn't know you had any feelings. No. 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 Where's the next gig? Uh, Flushing Valley. We're doing a... What the fuck is Flushing Valley? Is that down by Flint? It's in Flushing. Yeah, it's, it's by It's just Flint. north of Flint. It's a golf course that he actually is a... I'm the executive chef at there, and they're like, we need live music. Like, fuck it. I'll do it. You guys... Really? Do it. It's gonna be I need guys? to get paid on top awesome. of my paycheck, so... Yeah. Gotta, um, gotta keep the lights on. You know, we're going to uh, play some acoustic songs. I'm going to go back, eat some shit while these guys keep playing. And eat just, some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure the guys aren't fucking around. You and, eat uh, pieces of shit for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> I got to go back, back there and bust some heads on Pooh Bear, you know? Pooh Bear fucking fucks around sometimes. Fuck you, so. Pooh Bear. Who's Pooh Bear? Pooh Bear is one of my boys. I love him to death, but goddamn Pooh Bear. Fuck Pooh Bear. Hurricane Pooh Bear, dude. Hurricane Pooh Bear. If you're listening, Pooh Bear, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pooh Bear's got to watch us now. It's, it's required for the job. Hey, Pooh Bear, I got your back, bro. No, he don't. Pooh Bear. Well, I got Richard your, let you get beat up. Let's I got your side. I just had to make sure I said it too. <laughs> I got your left butthole. I'll fucking watch you. I'll, I'll fucking watch you get beat up. I got your left butthole, dude. We're good. Oh, I mean, Pooh Bear is a fucking beast, man. He he doesn't look like it, but that guy. I mean, right, I think he right can pick up any one of us and just throw us, throw us like a lawn dirt. He has really a fucking beast. <laughs> what, what are you doing, man? Yeah, that's that, that's about it. <laughs> He's moistening the leather a bit. <laughs> I think you might have spackled your, your undies there, bud. I like he's disgusted by everything we're doing here right now. Yeah, I'm whatever. not disgusted. I'm just fucking tired. Dude, this isn't even half as bad as some of the shit we say. <laughs> then why are you holding back there, Whitey? Come on. I'm just, like I said. You I look might, pale as fuck. You need to eat. I might be a metal front man, but I'm the most soft-spoken person you'll meet. Unless I get pissed off, then fuck you. <laughs> if you play fucking video games with this guy, you oh, yeah. just it's it's the worst you fucking most- sucking motherfucking piece of shit. What the <laughs> fuck? He, he's he, one fucking tap. What the fuck? Yeah. He's like he'll, he'll and at that point, again, The he, funniest part is he wasn't even scary yet. He's fucking yelling at a 13-year-old kid, too. He's yeah. yelling at a nine-year-old kid saying, like, I hope your mom dies of ass cancer and shit. <laughs> I hope oh. your whole family dies in a fucking house fire, you piece yeah. of shit. That I started. <laughs> oh yeah. I will skull fuck your grandma out of, once she's out of the grave or some shit. I'll you skull choke. fuck your grandma again. I hope you choke on your dad's dick to death. <laughs> oh, dude, it's, it's fucking prime, dude. It's so your great. Your dad's dick to death. That's the name of a song right there. <laughs> your, dad, your dad's uh, dick, dick to, to death. death. That sounds like a punk band. That's going to be the porno grind cover band. The porno oh. grind. That is really a fucking genre. That is very much For a real? genre. Oh, dude. So, so like, lyrically, like, it's all about like, just, like, fucking people, whatever, or... You know, what? I have not delved very deeply into porno grind. Um, I start googling porno and I porno grind. I get stuck on porno, and that's as far as it goes. <laughs> yeah. I, um, three minutes later, I'm done. I change then, the channel. You know, then I forget what I'm doing, and then I just start watching, you know, Paul Abdul videos and shit. So it's so crying a little bit. <laughs> this he, dude gets it, dude. He, All fight, he does he, is laugh. He fucking punches he's, it. He he's punches, got no yeah. punch. Back. He fucking punches in porn, and then like the the letter H pops up. Like, well, that seems like a good idea. Okay, yeah. Uh, you okay. know, I mean, that's what everyone's going to. I might as well see what the fuss is about. Yeah. He's well, gotta go back to. It's, just, it's disrespectful not to look. Orange okay. and black is where it's at, baby. You know what's up. You know what's up. Wink, wink. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's a guy I work with, dude. All he talks about is the hookers that he gets, right? I get these hookers, man, and I make him do this and that. And he says the fucking weirdest, grossest shit, dude. He goes, I was fucking banging this girl from behind, and a little piece of poop fell out. <laughs> and he goes, he looks at he looks at my buddy Josh and he goes, he looks at my buddy Josh and he goes, you know what I'm talking about. Josh goes, Josh goes, 
No, I don't know what <laughs> no. you're talking about. <laughs> like, so what? I so, got him. So we've ran it into everything. He's like, "Hey, man, I was fucking working one day and I cut my finger off." <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Does he go out specifically looking like for fucked up hookers, or is it just he gets hookers that are willing to do fucked no, up? No, have you seen this guy? Like jaundice has taken over. <laughs> Like, his eyeballs are fucking yellow, dude. Okay. He's got blue eyes, but they're yellow. Oh. And he's like fucking... How's it going? Dude, he has stage four fucking, something, dude. Yeah, bang these fucking hookers last night. He's day not or, long, long He's got for stage four shit, cock. What do you mean, dude? Oh, he's the grossest fucking guy you ever met in your life, dude. And he always says, you know what I'm talking about. Right? There's a poop yeah. that fell out. You know what I'm I was about. choking this girl and one of her eyeballs popped out. You know what I'm talking about. You know. Like, no, exactly. dude. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. If I was going for my morning coffee, I would seek this guy out every fucking morning. Every morning. Yeah. Yeah. Does your day only go up after dealing with something like that? Yeah, I, I feel so much better about myself. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. that's like a the people of Walmart such a right bad there. Guy after You're such all. a total piece of shit that I feel so much better <laughs> talking like, to God you. Goddamn, right I'm now. a fucking saint now. Jesus. Yeah. Christ. <laughs> I took it's a like shit people in of this Walmart girl's chest. What? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, in her chest. You fucking rip that shit open. In her, right on her. Yeah. Not on. Yeah. In. This is the opportunity to teach your buddy about uh, the Alaskan pipeline, then. He can fucking show him some new yeah, tricks. Yeah, I was like, dude, take a big turn, dude. <laughs> Throw it in the freezer. Bro. Put it in the bag, it up. man. Throw it in the freezer. He's like, no, I'm not even going to do that. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking, <laughs> about. I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. He's like, dude, that's so five years ago. <laughs> you just start ripping on her and make the whole room smell like poop. <laughs> He's like, you guys are still doing Alaskan pipeline? You haven't jumped on the donkey taco yet? Oh. <laughs> is that a donkey taco? Yeah. The donkey taco. Oh, fuck. You know what that is, right? <laughs> no. Okay, it's again, sh- no. Detroit State of Mind has gone straight off the rails. <laughs> you know, and we apologize to nobody because fuck everybody. I really I want to know what a fucking donkey taco is. So do uh, I. It involves vaginal lips and excrement. Okay, oh, carry uh, on. Uh... Like a Chaco, Chaco. How, 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 how graphic am I allowed to be on here? It's the internet, he dude. He just you said he sit- was choking a bitch till her eye popped out. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Talking about. <laughs> All right, fair point. Um, so, allegedly, the donkey taco is taking a, you're taking a dump. Some girl takes her lips and, as the, the poop is coming down, wraps it around like, like a soft shell tor- tortilla. Like a soft shell taco. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. You know, I mean, if you want to get really fancy with it, you can get some shredded cheese, maybe some sour cream. You know, it's, it's as little or as much as you want to make. Wipe an eye booger in there for good. You know, <laughs> it's, it's it's an adventure. How, how fucking much fun do you want to have? Oh my God. A little salsa. Oh, I might puke. The donkey taco, everybody. The fucking donkey uh. taco. This is the last band. What about we- an Alaskan donkey taco? <laughs> Dave, this is the last band we have for fucking Flint here. We can't do this. Any- we can't do this anymore. I think there's something in the water, Rich. <laughs> Could be. Oh, oh, fuck. I'm having such a good time. <laughs> I love you guys. Why do you look so depressed, man? He's hungry. Because I am. Look at him. He's withering away. Oh. <laughs> No, I'm tired as fuck, dude. He needs a hug. He's got a he's got a very very young child at home. I got an eight month old and a seven year old, so I'm tired as fuck. All oh, the time. you never get any sleep, bro. I tell you what, dude. So I have a 19 year old and a 21 year old. Your fucking move. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That's, that's funny. My point is, it, it, it gets fucking that's easier, man. Be the new thing. I, I tell him that all the time. I know. I know easier. it's gonna get easier. Just like. There's so much going on. I'm not going to get into it. Just teach him how to use a gun, dude. It'll be all fine. My daughters? Yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm going to show them how to use a gun. I got to get one first, though. (laughs) Well, you don't own a gun? Oh, fuck no. Just duck hunt. are you? (laughs) Dude. I'm yeah, no, I got the up, Nintendo but... gun. I'm a fucking good, bro. <laughs> I can fuck Pain, he's got paintball now. guns like a motherfucker. Huh? Paintball guns. You know what my Air favorite stuff. Zelda game is? Is the fucking one where you can fish. There's like seven of them. Oh, they they kept doing that after that? It was like Nintendo 64, maybe? Ocarina of Time. And you can fish. Ocarina of Time. This shit was cool, dude. I'm a fishaholic. Hey, I love the fish, man. What's the uh, fishing like around here? Is there any place worth going to, or is it? There's a lake there right there. Detroit. Well, I, I know like the, the fucking Great Lakes, but I mean, is there a bunch of rivers? I, I'm not from Michigan. I can claim ignorance. Yeah, if you go that way, there's a whole bunch of water. You can fish. 
The yep. fist. That's better than Lake Erie, right? I heard some some shit about Lake Erie. There's really good fisting that way. <laughs> fisting. You, fu- you, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm you talking what I'm about. about. You fucking stole my joke, man. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> you ever fist? God damn it. I tried. Have you? I had a girl once. I was fringing her. I fucking got what three the minutes. fuck are we talking? She's like, dude, get that pinky in there. You ain't no Boy Scout, are you? I'm like, fuck it, come on couple girls you can get up to like right here and they're like no stop and i'm like dude i'm almost there a glove? Like a, you're going on like a glove i don't give a fuck yeah i'm like up to my elbow bitch you had a baby come on <laughs> what the fuck all right oh. we're gonna go you're like a fucked up jim henson over here yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Warm dude, yeah. Muppet oh, I, i've bumped a few girls it's all good man Make them talk like fucking. You live in a garbage can, you fucking slut. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that, that's called a Jim Henson. Yeah. <laughs> Will you get your arm up in there and make them talk. That warm. Yeah, that's a Jim Henson. Warm. We just made muscles. up a new one, bros. Yeah, come I th- on. I think we did. Copyright. The shirt state of mind. <laughs> <laughs> LLC. LLC. <laughs> Royalties to torn away. Twenty twenty. This is why I quit drinking. Why? Were you saying that Torn Away is a bad influence on Detroit State of Mind? Yes. I'm sorry. As long as we're now. as long as we're like a good Sword time though, right? Yeah. And there is a Del Taco within a five mile radius. Yeah, we're so waiting actually. We we're we're roll, all rolling up. You guys are coming with, right? Absolutely no. not. They got fucking French fries. You can get a taco and French home. fries. Their food sucks ass, dude. Del it's Taco, terrible. don't listen to them. Fucking sponsor Torn Away. No, absolutely. Torn Away not. loves you, Del Taco. Don't fuck, do it. Fuck Detroit State of Mind. Yeah. Ah! I, actually, yeah. Dude, sample that. I'm okay with that. Fuck Detroit Marinera. Fuck Detroit State of Mind. No, I love you guys. This was fun, though. For sure. Yeah, you guys are amazing. This was a blast. I'm glad we were able to come and do this today, guys. Are you going to have us back? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe right. next time you fucking Maybe be here. on time. I mean, if you guys don't have so many. Well, you got new music. Fair, fair point. Hey, fair you, point. you got new music you didn't play, right? For yeah, yeah. simple reason that. Right. Yep. Yeah. We got. So when the new music comes out, you come back and we'll talk Absolutely, about. Absolutely, man. Damn straight. We'll play your favorite one. Too. We'll talk about fucking girls with frozen turds. <laughs> yeah. The real question is, do you let it come up to room temperature a little bit, or you just go right from the freezer right into action? Oh, I like God. to let it get a little slick on the outside you know and then you, fucking drill dude, away. Dude, if you, you gotta do. If you room temp that shit, it's gonna get slimy. Yeah, yeah then it's it's like, like, I can have a frozen core, but if it just softens around just a little oh, bit yeah, the outside. Exactly. You, guys you know, I could do away with the turd. I like to take a little fucking tuna oil and just drip it on there and then make the whole room smell like fish. Ooh. No, you guys were excited about the fucking <laughs> that chalk fucking markers. albacore. You were excited about <laughs> chalk mi- markers. Why don't I call it albacore? That's you know right on her back, like. All you got to do is, like, stain her with it. You just, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, like, dude. Yeah. Like, fucking it's like, Dave it's, was It's here. like driveway chalk. You just take the turd and write your name yeah, on her exactly. back. Yeah, Keep it yeah. frozen, carve it in, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck. Fucking Slayer. I mean, fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Write a Slayer logo with a turd on her back. <laughs> yeah. Dude, hell yeah. Call it the Hell Awaits. <laughs> no one's ever going <laughs> to... <laughs> I love this guy. Dude. No one's ever gonna watch our shit, man. No, no, who cares? That's fine because it's not like there is shit involved. It's cut. It's because it's in the yeah. Freezer. We got on hand. Everybody knows we're joking. I hope. I'm. I'm we're just rolling with it. I'm, I am. I'm not joking offended. whatsoever. See, right here's my humor, and then here's a gutter, and then my. Humor. And here's the Alaskan. Damn! Here's the Alaskan. Cannibal. Here's the Alaskan cannibal. I was gonna say. Alaskan. Wait, what's the Alaskan cannibal? I was gonna say. Alaskan I don't know the Alaskan cannonball. Alaskan. We gotta make something up right now before it ends. Mm. Alaskan cannibal. So Alaskan obviously has to deal with something frozen. It's so like frozen using poop. the Alaskan as a popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that'd be like getting into German territory, though. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that is pretty German. Um, that's pretty. If you're doing crum- like a, something like that. Maybe it's like you bite a piece of her flesh out, spit it on a popsicle, and then make her eat it. Uh, Jesus Christ! Or, or you, you take a bite out of her, spit it on the frozen turd, and then lick it. That's still the pipeline, though. Yeah, you're right. What what we got to figure out what the cannonball part is? Is that like maybe like diving dick first from a high point? Oh, they said they said yeah. cannonball. I thought they said cannibal. I thought well, I said cannibal too. Well, no, well, he, I, thought I heard cannon cannonball. But I like cannonball better. He said cannibal. I said cannonball. Okay, so I mean, pick your poison. So what is it? Well, if you use a frozen, the last cannibal, cannibol, you take the frozen turd, you jump off a roof, <laughs> dive head first, spot. jam it in from the yeah. fucking rooftop. That's the last cannonball. Obviously, Kevin, right? <laughs> cannonball. <laughs> Trademark. This all makes sense. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm <laughs> talking about. We are Detroit State of Mind. This is fucking torn away. Woo. Have a good night. Everybody say goodbye. 
Peace. Goodbye. We love Goodbye. you guys. Goodbye. 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 Hello. Goodbye. Hello. All right. This song is called The Mark Ones. The Unmarked Ones. I'm Dave, and he's Rich.
and thanks for tuning in to the Detroit State of Mind podcast. Join us again next week for more shenanigans and probably a lot of fucking swear words. Good evening. Sleep tight. Don't let the fucking bed bugs bite all that other good shit. That's what the Detroit State of Mind podcast. 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 Fuck you. I wish they'd play my band. I doubt it. Fuck you.